welcome everyone to today's stream and as the music there is dying out in the dying of the light bob bang good to hit you all with some cringe in the beginning of this stream uh because i'm in the mood to give you guys cringe now welcome to today's stream everyone it is a saturday we're here we're going to be playing some dying light uh this time we're playing on the epic game store a little bit different from usual never never well actually i have used epic before i i downloaded it just to play four guys with a friend of mine like half a year ago <laughs> that was it uh oh my god gordon with the 20 memberships he actually he actually lived up to um the promise he said there damn big pog who got it who got it bedside hippo Welcome what a nice name to the runner, alex 092 hood game hikage uh zai a hey, grail yaney uh sank pangus oh, sorry i'm really bad dembo dumbo mr balone welcome yes i'm confused sayonara chicken man <laughs> claudio rafael um rafael sorry ghost ujden boyton to the runners and retro big paul thank you for the 20 subs Congratulations to all the guys who got it there. Anyways, yeah, Retro got one. Day ruined. No, it's, it's fine. Uh, but anyways, how, how are y'all doing to the good, uh, today, chat? You doing good? Because I'm doing good. Fortnite Friday when never. Never. N day two of loving hologram. Hey. Welcome. To oh, the I look over to my Discord and I realize the, the hidden voice channel that we have that I use for my streams is... um. It's called France, and it's like in parentheses hell. <laughs> Giga Chow with the twenty gifted. The exactly. Runners, Seriously, though, twenty. That's a lot. Am I gonna play co-op? <laughs> Good thing I asked that because uh, this game, uh, what I've heard and what I've seen, Epic Games uh, for DL is pretty. Welcome uh, we, to the runners. We've hit eight minutes into the stream. I can swear. We. It's pretty fucked right now. It's pretty fucked. Uh, reason being is I don't know. It's Epic Techland and Epic, and yeah. It's, it's not working properly, so Welcome uh, I do well. hope I don't run into any issues myself. That's why I'll be playing more single player, just so nothing bad happens. But if something does happen, I'm going to have to go into the video game files and uh, try and fix it. Uh, I think there is a the solution that you set something to read only, but um, should be fine. Yo, George, another two. Day 15 of hating Mr. Asian for no reason at all. Okay, chat. Are we hating Welcome West Asian to the or are we loving hologram? Which one? Yeah, you get you did give a lot, Gordon. Another donor from you too, by the way. Thank you. Oh, what the fuck? Welcome yeah, Cass. Actually, tw twenty gifted, twenty months. Coincidence. Can we do both? True, true. Let's just do both. There's the best runner in the zone. Oh, Laco. Hey. Welcome. Wait. To the runner zone. Since you're here, uh. <laughs> if I have any technical issues, is it all right if you help? Um, the server, uh, uh, you don't have to if you don't want it, of course. But like, because uh, I heard a lot of people have been having zone. issues. Um, I never played this on Epic before. No, because like lack of people having like profile switching issues or being booted from the game, etc. You know what I mean? Yo, George says both. All right, well, okay, fair enough. The run <laughs> Jesus, oh, th this thing is going to keep on going. All right, let's play. Uh, oh wait, before we play video games. Uh, let's go. There's a quick thing. The, what's pinned in the chat right now is if I welcome get it. to the runner oh, zone. And running. Let's just do display capture. Fuck it. See this? Enter the world of dying lights. So if you if you go on Techline GG, the links are pinned in the chat right now. Uh, there's a free welcome pack. Welcome to the runner. All zone. you gotta do is sign into Techline GG, which is literally what this website is. Connect your platform, and you could, this could be for any platform too. Uh, I don't have. PlayStation and Microsoft accounts, but you can link them to, to here. I have Epic and Steam links. And you welcome get a welcome pack. To the runner zone. Gives you Last Hope, Ratty Outfit, Alternator, lol. Uh, survival Kit. I have no idea. How, is this like three drops or something it gives you? That's interesting. Uh, Dead Eyes Bow Blueprint, which is welcome very powerful early game. But hey, another 10, Gordon. Jesus. Jeez. Who got it this time? Welcome to the runner zone. Imagine not using Epic Games. Hey, hey, dude, look, look, it's right here. Do you see it on the stream? It's right here. I, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm sharing my, oh, what the fuck? Welcome I'm sharing my, um, desktop. 
Well, I got whoa, whoa, got my uh thingy on uh, my on my left monitor is my Discord, and I got you guys on my right monitor. Look, runner zone. Oh, Inception. Ah, ah, mm. ah, Can't keep... Look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh wait no, if I switch scenes it wouldn't show it. I was gonna switch scenes and I was gonna try and do the funny, but that's not that's not gonna work. Like you cut G Alright, well there you go. But anyways, yeah, uh so I'm gonna be using the bundle. I'm not gonna be using well I might use a dead eye, because why not? Uh I might use a last up because why not? I might wear the rat uh, I won't wear the ratty that the rat is fine, but I, won't, I don't like it. Uh, fuck the alternator, it's a bad weapon. And I'll be using the drops, because why not fours and ZD? So I wonder if you get the Epic Game version, if you can use the rewards on a save on consoles to basically cheat the Techland GG rules. True. Hey, okay, what, you need help? No, no, Lacko, it's just that the, um, like the thing is with um, Epic is that a lot of people have been having issues, technical problems with the game, where they get kicked out saying that the profile's being switched and stuff like that. I want to make sure I don't get that, but if I do... I may need help in trying to locate the files to help me out there. Show me how many free games you got from Epic Game Store. Sure. Uh, does this leak anything? Does this leak anything? Does this leak anything? Does this leak anything? It does not leak anything. I've even customized my profile, man. Look, I got Welcome. DL1 Welcome Enhanced Edition. I got a Warhammer 40k game. I got Fall Guys and Fortnite. Well, I don't have Fortnite installed and I don't have the 40k game installed, but I installed Fall Guys like ages ago. Did you just... Holy fucking Welcome shit! To the 50 zone. subs! Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Look at this. The, by the way, chat, this is what I see. This is literally what I see. Welcome. So, so this is, so I clicked, I don't know why it's called Dying Light. I think it's because when I was only playing Dying Light. Uh, that's the unused speedrun page. I got Dying Light here. I got variety for when I react to stuff. Then it's just me. So if I click this. Welcome to the runner zone. I switch to this one. <gasps> If I click here, goes back to here. We click DL wait for stream. I should change this. I, I, and uh, unboxing Metal Gear. Oh my god, the Metal Gear Rising shit. Dude, I remember this. But if you go to uh, wait for stream here, uh, this is just like the start of the stream here. And I go boom. But Jesus Christ though, like seriously, 50 subs. 50 subs. Seriously. And Ethan with a 279. Am I going to play Batman tomorrow? Uh, thank you for the 279. Ethan, uh, I, I'll be playing Batman on Monday. Or Tuesday. Or both. One of those two days, though. Your game didn't say- your game doesn't save settings. Well, I'm a default keybind Andy, so I'm fine in that regard. The game was the go go and so many good games, but yeah. Jesus. Look how many people- dude, like, everyone's a member now. Am I excited for the DLC 2 or DL2? Moderately so. Uh, I'm more I'm more excited for the content core gameplay changes. You're going another twenty two Turkish Turkish leader, right? Me and George gifting subs and cop for real for real. Oh my god, did I did I just say Gordon gave fifty before? It's George who gave fifty. I'm sorry. I just automatically assumed it was Gordon. Dude, there's so much happening right now. I'm not even like bro. You're not a member. Oh my god, Solstice still didn't get one. Neither did Paul. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Like, the most active chatters here, almost, are like, not ones who did not get gifted subs. Are you kidding me? That's so unlucky. Bruh. The Thank rewards you, you get you. from Epic Transfer Console too nice. Damn, Gordon, we on fire. Someone bring water. Speaking of water, hydrate, chat. As the water. Alright. Bruh, where are my saves? Game deletes the saves. Oh, bruh, well, I hope we don't run into that issue. But anyways, chat. I think it's time we play some video games today. Should we play video games? Or should we not play video games? How many video games should we play today? Let's play one video game. And that video game is called Dying of the Light.
Shift F3 opens up the thing, okay. Hunt down the no. I would rather go through uh the Chinese drip Chinese drip torture than play uh Hunt Down the Freeman. You know it's been so long since I've seen this because I always have no logos on my Steam version actually. Should we watch this? Nah. I I've seen this so many fucking times. The oh, eyes of the this. world have been glued, glued to, to the city of Haran, Haran for the past, past few months. days. Oh fuck. Following the outbreak was of the days. previously unknown pathogen. It is not yet clear what has caused this gruesome affliction. Okay, I'm skipping it. Have you seen what they've added though here? So, the the annoying thing that they had before was they highlighted Dying Light 2 before and they had like a different screen. But this artwork actually looks really cool. I really like this artwork. Bussin artwork. Another Dying Light playthrough? Yep, I got- I, I have another excuse to play Dying Light again. <laughs> um... <laughs> no, cock, stop trying to convince them, alright? It's not gonna convince me. Alright, let's go. I clicked play for Dying Light. Crane is not holding that machete. Oh, I didn't even see the pro Wait, is he actually not holding it? Hey, Gamer for Life. How do you guys do, bro? The Dying Light Pro play Player Fanatic. Yep, I'm the best player Dying Light in the world. True Gamer for Life. Thank you, man. Welcome to Dying Light. <laughs> Sorry, that's what, that's, that's what it literally says here. Downloadable content. The Bozak Horde is available. You know what? That's the first time since like 2015 since I had that message. Oh my god. Uh, what's going on? Framework cap is at 80. View distance is fine. Oh, that is very loud. Uh, let's turn it. Let's turn this down some bit. Um, this is going to be. Off. Subtitles on. Enable hints. Off. Swap weapon. No. Oh, I, I, you know, I never actually played with that. HUD full. Gamma. Field of view. So it saved my FOV settings and stuff like that. It's def by default, it's like that. That's interesting. Yeah, being blessed. George wants you to play one of the game, game games of all time. RDR2? Oh no. <laughs> everyone keeps asking for it. Everyone keeps asking for it. Seriously, everyone keeps asking for it. No HUD gameplay? Do you want me to do no HUD gameplay? I mean, it's the same, but like, do, do you- wait, wait, chat, do you want me to do no HUD gameplay? I'll, if, if, people, if enough people want, I'll actually do a poll for no HUD. Plain French. You know, I don't even know how to change settings, uh, language settings on, uh, Epic. What's the difference between playing on Epic? Not really, it's just the same game. Well, right now I'm only playing with the Enhanced Edition, but I, well, it's, I'm basically on a clean slate right now. Like, if I go to my- oops, sorry about my mic. If I go to, like, my, uh, extras, personal statistics, look, zero, and everything. Clean slate! Just how I like it. With no achievements either unlocked. Yeah, on Epic, I just realized that. HUD on, HUD off? Alright, I'll, I'll do a poll. I'll do a poll. You know, I'll start the game. Oh my god, I can't. I can't shift tab. I have to alt tab. Oops. Oops. Alt tab works though. It doesn't crash the game. Good. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll do a poll. Um. HUD on. Wait. Uh, sorry. HUD on or uh, no HUD. Uh. Start a poll. Put this. Full HUD. I'm gonna say specifically full HUD and no HUD. There you go. If you guys really want this, because I don't think I mean I have done a no HUD playthrough before, but it was with the I am unable to open any menus at all with no HUD, you know. He hates the French. I mean I hate the French too, so that's understandable. 
Why do you like sleeping so hard on good games? RDR2, Guardians of the Galaxy, Borderlands 2. I played Borderlands 2, but I got bored of it. But that was like 10 years old, ten years ago, Cox. So I might have a different opinion nowadays. No HUD makes it so much harder to like follow what's up. You know what? That's actually a good point. That is a good point. Because you won't even see the quest. And for people who are like new time, fresh to this game, who want to watch a playthrough, maybe they won't be able to see. Um, you know, that's a good point. And actually... Well, the, it's, it seems like people are voting uh, full HUD right now. Oh, I tap back in right now. It seems like people are voting uh, full HUD right now, so I'll probably just do that. Uh, I'm going to be playing solo Laco for now. You Can can you play Fallout New Vegas? I have hundreds of hours in Fallout New Vegas, one of my favorite games of all time. I'm probably not going to play on stream again, though. Okay, West Station. Yeah, <laughs> that's an option. I'm sorry. Because uh, I know you did get, get it for me. This is his first play. Yes, this is my first play. I've, I have, I have never played Dying Light before. Uh, ignore the fact that I have dozens of Dying Light, well, hundreds of Dying Light related content uh, on my channel. I have never played it before. Also, hold on. I just, I, I, I closed, I closed my uh, studio without stopping the poll. So let me just do this real quick. <laughs> I'll be playing on Nightmare, of course. End poll, full HUD. So, majority of people want, want it anyway. So, alright. Full HUD. And I'm going to be doing... 100%. Except for the trophies. As in, like, the, the zombie statues and stuff. But I'll be trying to do all the easter eggs I can remember off the top of my head. And I even have the following, too. Uh, chat. So, when it comes to skipping dialogue, I... Yes or no? I'm generally wondering because there's a lot of people here who I there's a lot of people who than there usually are here. So I'm generally wondering, do you guys want me to skip? Um, look at that. Oh, French game. Uh, do you want me to skip dialogue or do you want me to just? Well, you know what? For cinematics, I can watch them but skip the otherwise ambient dialogue. Meme dialogue don't skip. All right, people are just saying skip. So we'll be doing this on nightmare. Only for the most hardcore players. Uh, yeah, everyone's saying skip. Okay, I'll skip. Should I watch cinematics though? HUD activated. This is Commence loud. Holy breathing. shit. Approaching Iran. Data on the subject. I, I'm Here's skipping dialogue. Weapon. Should I skip cinematics A local though? political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident. Everyone's saying skip. I'm doing. It. I'm skipping. <laughs> skip. Skip Raheem death. Shh. shh, shh. Who's deaf? What are you talking about? Alright. Well, oh, so there are some people who want me to watch cin cinematics, but... Um... I won't skip over meme dialogue. How about that, chat? Oh, wait, hold on. Do you want me to do water pouring ASMR if I can try it? There you go. Always remember to keep yourself hydrated, chat. You pinch him. You're scared. I'm not scared. Then pinch him. He blinked. What? He blinked again. What if he's a zombie? Ah! Zombie! Run! Zombie up our Estella. <laughs> French be like. <sighs> I don't even know if I said it right, but that's how that's I, I can hear it in my head. Morning, expose. I'm happy to watch you play Dying. I'm a big fan recently. Well, welcome, welcome. A anyone new and old? Skip Esgi. Oh, we won't be doing. Dude, we won't be doing this until like. You sleep for three days I don't think I'll be able to able to get to Old Town today. Like, it's gonna be long. Where am I? You want me to do it like a speed run? I can do the uh, Raheem course. I can do the Raheem course, the speedrun route there. What do you mean, but I'm not going to do anything game breaking. Do I have achievements on? What do you mean achievements on? I haven't got any achievements on this game right now. Am I going to suffer through doing Korok V2? Oh. You know what? I might just do that. <laughs> I might. Or I can just do it so, uh, co op. Weird not hearing French. It's a good thing. Not lazy little shit. 
I'm not lazy, you little shit. Oh yeah, they closed those doors off. I keep forgetting that. They nerfed the, the prologue for the speedrunners, by the way. Have I ever done Korak V2 solo? I have not. I've only done it co-op. Doing it solo is a fucking chore, though. Not gonna lie. Some stuff for Raheem. No, it's in French. Shit. There's gonna be some dirty work. Oh my god. Okay, George the Ten. I see the aggressive message you sent there. This ultimatum you sent. RDR games or Borderlands? I. You know what? I'm gonna choose Borderlands. I prefer FPS titles. Do the skip. Oh, dude, that skips hard though. Jesus. How many people died here? Did you patch it with a glitch through the door? No. I'm just doing the... I'm not going to do anything game-breaking, chat. If people are like, you should speedrun it. It's like, well... I don't think I'm going to do speedrunning stuff this this game. Like, I'm going to be doing, like, you know... Nothing game-breaking, basically. Right here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over seven Did you play any COD? I lost my radio for a while. Uh, I worry. played World at War, no Modern Warfare 1. As in like the 2007 Modern Warfare, whatever that year that was. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. There's, there's one more thing. I, I'm a campaign guy, and I like the campaigns of all those games. No symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some skip, but only watch no. and Break the TV. No. Hey, as I said, I, I won't skip the, the I won't skip the meme parts. Did I watch Friday the 13th? I watched the original Friday the 13th with my uh, my brother back in the day, ages ago. Easy, easy. <laughs> it's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. oh my god, that's a, the achievement pop up. Chat. The fucking achievement pop up for Epic. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Dude. <laughs> The fucking achievement is uh, the achievement of is it really necessary? Um, I try to stay jump, calm, okay? Chat, that sound was fucking Epic Games achievement sound. Right <laughs> Dude, I was like, it's a half jump scare. Uh, you, you guys didn't see it, but like around here, a huge banner pop up saying the achievement name. And I was like, what the fuck was that? No, it's in French! It's, it is in French. Unfortunately, this game is not in French right now. Borderlands means at least one, two, and three. Don't bother with the pre-sequel, though. Oh, bro, you, you're really committing to that, them. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I might add bo the Borderlands franchise to my... Uh... Also, the sensitivity is very high right now. But not in the menu. Men menu sensitivity is really bad. Uh, control. Turn you up. Oh, my God. What the f... It's like ten times a sense... Okay, okay, chat, chat, do you want to see the difference between us? So I'm going to move my mouse like this. Right? That's me moving a little bit. And if I do it here, this is the same on this, this sensitivity. Look, look at that. What the hell? So what's this then? <laughs> I'm going to move it by like the smallest fraction possible. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Uh, I need to change controls a little bit. A little bit too low. Let's bang it up like two. There you go. Alright. We're min min maxing, grabbing every single available supply uh, that we can in here. Okay. Um. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. Oh my god, did I just soft lock? I got a new pop. Oh my god, chat, hold on. There we go. I thought I, uh. Because it wouldn't let me leave the menu in order to refresh it, because I crafted it before the, uh, the prompt. And then I thought I soft locked myself. Um, but, um, pressing the filter. Uh, refreshes the screen, so it was good for me there. Also, it got another achievement pop up. I forgot. Oh, wait, Shift F3, right? Achievements. Um, little craftsman, and is it really necessary? 81% of players have killed the first zombie. 
chat according to the the Epic Games uh, statistics. Oh. Oh shit! I was I was trying to spam spacebar. I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, am I liking the achievement pop-ups? Uh, we'll you it's way more intrusive compared to Steam because Steam you just had a little pop-up on the bottom right, but here you get a whole sound and a big ass banner on the top flashes at the top of the screen. Who are the 19% then? Launch and never play it, I guess. Oh, yeah, I have to talk to him, yeah. So, something. You need something that fits the job that I want you to do. Alright. Gotta go here. And I think you're forced to wear fresh clothes. Can I wear anything else? I can only wear fresh clothes. Right now. Okay, Raheem. I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your Shut up, Miguel. Also, hi, Miguel. If you've got the skills. What do I think DL2 did better than DL1? It's on the top floor. Um... I like the way how you can customize and mix and match your elementals individually with tip and shaft, right? Uh, in deal two. I don't see you. Where are you? Um, <laughs> you're able to climb up and down manually. Uh, world interaction with parkour is better, like ropes and monkey bars and stuff like that. Well, what are you waiting for? Get there isn't too much I can think of that deal two does better though. <laughs> Like, in the major areas for me, um, D1 is just better overall. Oh my god, George. Wow, another West Station burn. Hello? Welcome to our... Alright. I can do the speedrun, right? The flight of the crane achievement unlocked. <laughs> Alright. Let's try and do a speedrun route. I, dude, I haven't done this in so long. Sometimes it's better to crawl I mean, this is a easy uh, part. Let's let's do it. Oh my God, try messed up. Not bad for a noob. There we go. I'm always really bad at that skip. Good job. Okay, that's enough. There we go. You got some serious natural First talent. playthrough ever. Either that. You've done this before. You've done this before? Hardly. The closest I ever came to this was running track <laughs> in high school. <laughs> well then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. And there we go. What's happening to me? Shit. Shit. Oh my god, Rosario, you just reminded me of the person who posted on the Dying Light Reddit. Oh my god. Oh my god, the person who- Dude, uh, for those of you who weren't here when we looked at that, I can't remember when we actually looked at that, or what, what stream that was. Someone posted on the Dying Light Reddit, they were stuck on the first jump in the tutorial here. Something went wrong. Raheem, what just happened to me? Oh shit, I bet you're having your first seizure. Just get back over here. Raheem, before you head out to see Zera. Alright. Uh, I just had a hard time deciding which skill to buy as a plan. Alright. So, wait, so you're, you're gonna plan to buy it? Oh, you don't really need to plan. Almost all the skills in this game are really good. Um. Unless you're playing on Nightmare or maybe hard, or if you're struggling with the game, you don't really need to plan ahead with your skills that everything's beneficial to you, really. Oh, you're the new yeah, that's uh, might even find Gazi you. remodel. Keep your warm at night. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is the stuff that I got from Techland GG. So alternator. The blueprint, right? Yeah. Did I bow blueprint? Last hope blueprint. Survival kit. 
fuck is the survival kit? I got the ratty outfit. Hold on. Where's the survival kit? Oh, speed booster, flare, military throwing knives, firecrackers, the basic stuff. Right, right. Uh, in that case... Oh, we gave you a look. Night vision booster, resistance booster, stamina booster. Huh. Not bad. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. Do Bozak right now. <laughs> oh no, Oni. Yeah, there are people who've asked that. It's unfortunate. Right. Traditions chat. We going it's into crazy, loot house. Kid. Well, this isn't Loot House, but, um, yeah. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. Two, three, four. Oh my, oh my god, you're right there, buddy. Okay. And that took... 14 hits. <laughs> Is DL locked in Germany? Yeah, DL, Dying Light's banned in Germany. I think it's because of the screamers and the fact that they consider children, maybe. Yeah, pretty much gamers are up. It's, it's, it's silly. Alright, Parkour Fever, right at the top here. Let's do it. Level 1 Parkour Fever. Wait, what's this one called again? Is this one called first assignment? Or is this one, uh, no, this isn't tiptoeing to Ghazi. Forgot what this one's called. Extra speed stacks. My crane's getting tired though. Oh, there's the achievement to do them all at night too, isn't there, chat? So, uh, I'm gonna have to redo all this at night as well. Oh, I'm about to lose my stacks. Oh well, doesn't matter. I didn't fall that far, bruh. Let's go to the speedrun route, which is up here. <laughs> Whoa. That was close. Almost fell. Kyle legs a steel crane, mm-hmm. And he doesn't, in a late game, he doesn't run out of park or stamina. And is able to hold onto uh, things indefinitely, unlike uh, Aiden. There you go. Easy points. Got dodge unlocked now. 100% a DL, I 100% DL1 in Horizon. I own DL2, but I haven't opened it yet. I I think of playing Horizon 2 first, what would you recommend? I know they're both big games, but I can't seem to choose. Well, I've played DL2, and I haven't played Horizon. Um, uh, what's the second one? Forbidden West, that's what it's called, right? So I would recommend Forbidden West, because I heard it's a good game. Um, and improves upon the first. Dying Light 2 improves upon little of the first game, and disappoints, uh, and is actually a downgrade in many other aspects. So, uh, of the two, I would recommend- Oh, hold on, I'm gonna blow these guys up. Of the two, though, I would definitely choose, uh, Horizon. Where's dev menu? It's my first playthrough, Novix. What is a dev menu? I don't know what you're talking about, man. Doctor? Hello? World record, um, <laughs> completion of, uh... Zera checked me out and gave me another shot. 
<laughs> world, world record completion of Epic Games. World's first. Oh, wait, hold on. Chat, should I, uh... Should I say hi to the Volatiles in here? Because Volatiles show up before the main... Uh, before the first night. If you go to this specific cave, I believe. Oh my god, one drowned! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on, if one drowned... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me loot him. Boom. We've looted our first volatile without killing him. Before the pro before <laughs> before. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna run now. <laughs> before um the fucking first night. <laughs> Dying lights a horror game, guys. By the way, it's very scary. Volatiles are the apex predators of the game. See how they drown so easily. <laughs> this game is only scary if you don't understand it. Once you understand it, it's uh, very straightforward. Oh, yeah, actually, hold on. Let's get the pistol too, chat, right? The uh, the Fisherman's Village pistol and EXP Caliber. I'm just getting all these lichen. Imagine if Techline made it so Volatiles could swim. Or well, they didn't just drown. Like, they, like, pursued you underwater and they could melee you or something. See, that would actually make them terrifying, because then there's, like, no place that, that, um, nowhere's safe, you know? Oh, Novix, bad blood spawn. You recognize this place. I think there's zombie statues in here, right? Oh, no. All right, all right. Come on, please be more than four bullets. Five bullets. All right, not bad. Bill, game ending note. I can't. I don't. I don't think I can say the word because last time I showed someone game ending themselves in Dying Light Two, that stream got demonetized. So this person game ended himself. He didn't actually, you know, in game, and he got his little cat there. Oh wait, there's a statue here too. Boom. Dude, imagine they actually make bad blood free on Epic. That'd be funny. Okay, full screen. Uh, I'll check it in a sec, cock. I'll check it right after I get the XP caliber here. Apart from the first night, I'd say Dying Light is not a horror game, but an action RPG. I would say so. Uh, RPG? <laughs> You know what, I would describe Dying Light as a thriller, because I feel like a thriller is sort of like a soft horror. It's like it has horror elements, but is ultimately... I, I mean, there are people out there that I've spoken to who would consider it a horror game though, so I don't know. Chat do, you, chat, do you guys consider- oh my god, can I come up here? I mean, I think we all found the first night scary. I think that's, that that's like, almost universal, right? But, chat, in terms of, like, what's your own experience? Like, do, do you think that Dying Light is a horror game? Yeah, Philip Drain, that's for Korok V1. Um, I can't use it, though, because I'm on Nightmare. <laughs> Novi X, yeah. Do you remember when a child NPC glitched down your playthrough and died in the following? Oh yeah, you just had a heart attack. I remember that. Poll. <laughs> like, whenever I ask chat something, there's always like one or two guys that says, just poll. People say yes. There are people saying yes, though, and people saying no. In co-op, not really. I mean, co-op can make any game not scary. Come on. DL1, yes. DL2, no. So, I mean, I, I think DL2 is it's, it's out of the question. I don't think DL2 is, is anything remotely horror. 
I, I do. I've spoken to people who get who get scared in uh, in DL2 though. So and they, I don't know. To each their own, I guess. Because um, I guess a horror horror factor, right, is uh, is all subjective and personal, right? Epic Games welcomes you to Fortnite's successor and all new world of biting biters and demolishing demolishers. We welcome you to Epic Blood. Novix, people are getting scared in DL2. I've spoken to people who say they stealth dark zones because they get scared in them. They don't want to go loud, they just want to stealth them. It's like, okay dude, cool. The, the electrical boxes are horror. Oh, the jump scared are getting killed by electrical boxes? Sure, okay, I can, I can see that. <laughs> Dialect 1 is a horror game, but it's not very scary when you get good at it, but the horror elements of the world remain. I think that's a good way to put it. Because... I think the unique selling point of the whole night aspect basically gave it, it's like a half a horror game, right? Oh, god damn, I just realized like... It's, su it's such a unique experience, right? Because obviously during the day, it's like your sort of average zombie game where you're like the god just killing everything most of the time, right? And then at night, tonally, uh, obviously that all turns on its head and you become the victim, the one the one who's being hunted and stuff like that. But it's like... I, I don't know how to describe it, but like... It's like 50% a horror no. game. That's half the experience. I didn't know you got... XP for that. Alright, uh, let's go for Backpacker then. Wait for the body to burn up. Check Epic for the Kyle Crane Fortnite skin. The Ote Atmosphere has way more horror potential though because of the grand scheme of things, but it hasn't been really explored correctly. Yeah, everything's more older and decrepit, decrepit and gone, you know? Whereas DL1 is a more recent thing, it's only a few months into the, the apocalypse. Will I be doing co-op? I heard co-op's fucked, so I'm not even going to try risking that. Water's more watery in DL1? Yeah, I don't know why the, the water's so much better. But Ozzy, how are you using the EXP Caliber on Nightmare? Well, fun fact, uh, a hi hypothetical question asker in chat. Um, there, there's like eight or so Easter egg items that you can use on Nightmare. They're, they're not like, and like, for example, Korek you cannot use. EXP Caliber you can use. The crafted EXP Caliber from the blueprint you can't use. It's weird. Hey, Chase Brown, thank you for the two. Thank you for the kind words, man. But because you have the luxury of playing this game over and over again, that's why you would think that this, that it's not anymore. Um, I guess that's true to an extent, but um, I I had that I had my view my, I had my view of the game changed what, during my first playthrough of the game. I was very scared of the night when I was when I was first playing on the Xbox back in 2015 when I was first playing this game. Um, but once I learned mechanically how the volatiles work, I was like, oh. Okay, well, it's not really scary anymore. It's perfectly fine. Like, I thought they were, like, sensi from across the map and, like, silly track you down. No, they have Kona Visions. They're, they're even more blind than a biter. Like, that's how bad they are. How do you get that pistol? I will show you in just a sec. So, this pistol... So, I just went and did a few things here. So, this pistol can be grabbed from this uh, hut over here. That one there. There's a guy in there who game-ended himself. And you can pick up his pistol, and it, sometimes I've actually picked it up once, I had no ammo, very unlucky, but it can have anything between uh, zero to eight rounds in it, based on, um, because, you know, this pistol can hold up to eight rounds. But, uh, yeah, and I also went I over to this island and interact with an easter egg, pick up this weapon, the EXP Caliber. I won't be using it until later, though, because the, the true power of this weapon um, only comes into play once you unlock power attack with it. Oh yeah, I'll check DMs real quick. Give me one second chat. What is it? Oh yeah, I was thinking of that cock. Um, I was thinking of doing like a, uh, 
like a prison heist, uh, I speedrun uh, prison heist, but I'm blind and chat guides me or something like that. How do you get the gun so fast? Uh, okay, I'll, ex I'll explain this one more time. So, on this map you spawn here, this is where you start off uh, in the tower. If you go south towards this little building here, that I've marked as a waypoint here. Inside is a little fisherman's hut with a guy uh, who game ended himself on a table. Uh, on the floor is a gun. And it's a German 9mm pistol. Uh, pick it up and you're Gucci. You have a gun, although you only have 0 to 8 rounds. I, I got a better than usual roll of 5 rounds, so there's that. Let's eat some halber. Ooh. Dodge, oh sorry, grapple, slide, um... I'll go grapple. Why is it German though? Maybe the guy there was German. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, Noviex, goddammit. Power cable, loot. Chat, what kind of players are you? Do you beeline everything? Or do you- are, are you a loot goblin like me? Because I am an unapologetic loot goblin. I like to take everything. I take literally everything I can. I always have inventory problems in, every, in any game that has an inventory space. Come here. Come here. Why are you climbing on that car? over here. Alright, I'm waiting for you guys. I'm gonna blow everyone up. I think we're close enough. Yeah, we're close enough. Alright. Oh, I missed. Oh my goodness gracious. Can that happen in DL2? If 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 someone gets blown up and they get f sent flying, and do they get embedded in spikes like that? I don't know. Yo, George, another two. Do stuff total at least once in a prologue, <laughs> if you want me to. All right, you'll see. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction. Firecrackers. I will put them. That's fine. Oh, oh. There you go. The invisible barrier is now gone. Oh fuck. I wanted to see what Noviak said and chat's going too fast. And if I tab out... Uh, it freezes. Okay, there we go. I'm one of those types of players known as a pe Oh, shut up Noviak. God damn it. <laughs> I wanted to read what you said over here as just a troll. My PvP plays for the first time in the game and then... One, I meet a volatile for the first time. I scream so loud that all people in my house heard that. I mean, to be fair, first time encountering a volatile, I think everyone gets scared. I think that's a universal response there. Alright, loot house. Anyone new to this game, especially those on Epic, uh, here's a tip. There are objects. Oh, actually, the, the, here are two tips. Okay. There are. Uh, objects in this game called flags like this one here so these things are collectibles found throughout uh the map in uh this in slums and in old town uh there are two of them nearby there's one over there where i'll be going to and there's one here if you pick it up it gives you 1000 oh no uh one i think i believe it's 1000 xp or is it 500 i think it's it gives you either 500 or a thousand but if you if you pick it up at night time where you get double XP, you get twice as much XP. So don't pick them up until it's at night if you want to min max your XP gains that way. <laughs> I got two people in chat giving different responses. <laughs> it's either 500 that gets boosted to a thousand or 1,000 that get boosted up to 2K. But either way. I'm going to be going to the other flag over here, which is also a va fantastic location for general loot. There's two ways to go here. You can jump across these lights and go in here for this flag. 
Or... Well, a lot of people do, because they don't like going the normal intended way, is to go over here. <laughs> jump up, up on here. Grab this. Go right. And boom. Go up. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Yo, chasing around the five dollars. What's the best way to level up agility, Ozzy? I've never hit max level agility though. All my wait, really? Um, well, I think this is like a blanket statement for both agility and power. But playing at night is always better because it's literally twice the XP gain. You always want to do that. Also, look at look at all this loot that I'm getting from this loot house, by the way, chat. Um. Other than that, um, what I tend to do sometimes, I tend to do these um, parkour fever challenges at night because they give you 2k XP at night. Which is where they basically give you two flags worth of XP upon a completion. And the shortest one, Twister, can take like 40 seconds if you're at all. 30 to 50 seconds. You can also get the slide ability and just slide into a corner over and over again and you get XP that way, but I've never done that. Partner will be scared because he never played it or saw the story. I mean, that's fine. Uh, Olo, Olo, see, Olo slid in the corner uh, and he said it's hell. Understandable. It, that's monotonous and boring. You're too scared of playing at night because of the airdrop mission. Fair enough. The air, honestly, I feel like the airdrop mission sets a really good, like, level of, you know, what the night's going to be like. Uh, but at the same time, it can blow off players from actually playing a night at all. And I've seen a lot of people comment that on my DL1 vs DL2 videos. They get turned off from the, from the game because of that. Well, it turned off from night gameplay. Anyway, so that's Loot House. It's the building with the little pharmacy logo. Tons of stuff in here. I'm gonna go search nearby stuff too anyway. As well. Oh, sweet. Nom. No death challenge. I'll, I'll see how long I can go without dying. I'm not going to do like a whole permadeath thing though. Also, I don't think you can do these in the prologue right now. No, you can't. Is there a way to- oh, sorry. Um... Certain drain pipe and get the slide ability. Span the slide in the drain pipe nice and you get a ton of XP fast. Does it matter that it's a drain pipe? Why does it have to be a drain pipe? Is it there's anything specific about it? Because I don't know, I've never grinded it myself. Hold on. Oh! I accidentally activated a uh, shadow play. I pressed Alt and Z. Aussie say Atom. I, I said it. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I mean, I know what an atom is, but I don't know why you wanted me to say that. If you need to skip the nights, there is a fear of not getting into the safe zone before night. If you don't have, you don't have that feeling in DL2. True. I actually, you know, what? those of you who have played at least in your first playthrough, did you ever go out at night ever again? Because I, I, I wonder how many people actually just skip nights altogether after the first airdrop mission. Did you just avoid that like the plague, or were you interested in going out again and experiencing that uh, adrenaline rush? Because I went out and I... I skipped a lot, but I did all the side missions where you were forced to go out at night. I did all those. That's probably why I like those missions so much. Skip most nights. I always play night, but if I got caught, I quit. Wait, really? How's the game on Epic? It's working fine for me right now. I haven't had any technical issues yet. I've heard a lot of people have been having like issues where like they get kicked out and stuff like that, but I don't know. I haven't had that issue yet. Touch wood. Fingers crossed.
I got the free Dying Light Enhanced Edition, but I can't get it on console from Epic Games. Is it possible? Uh, Epic, no, it's um, the free... Uh, the, the, you know, getting the game for free on Epic is only for Epic. You can't get it on any other platform. Alright, that's time to actually do the main quest chat. We've been doing so much uh, looting. And doing stuff. We'll see if we run out of stamina. Kick. Once you're fully out of stamina. And look, you could run again. You could also uh, dodge left, right, and backwards to reset it too. Jade here. Is anyone outside right now? Urgent help needed. Um, I'm outside, working for Spike. You're great, right? Listen, our runners tried to secure one. You can drop the thing they eat. Yeah, you can. He's in a courtyard by Zephyr and Haha, <laughs> Novix, where do you think? We gotta help him. All right, I'm on it. For YouTube policy reasons, I cannot say where he stores it. If the Among Us zombie is in the base game, I'll skip day every time. Fair enough. <laughs> oh wait, I already been here, bro. You know what? I'm gonna eat this burger. Mm. Also, I like how it turns into a halver when Crane actually eats it. Uh, you know what? Ooh, I can abuse this. Ow. Step right up. Wait, what? It wouldn't let me grapple. Huh? What? I have the grapple ability. See ya, Novix. What's your favorite item to eat in DL1? It's Border Gear? I mean, it's always a Border Gear. Okay, let's go this way. Look at all this sweet, sweet free XP. I do have the skill, I grappled someone before. Look, grapple. That was weird, I've never had that happen to me before. Got a couple of those, I'm still coming over. Ow. Is this Blaine Cracks? True. Almost leveled up. Agility. There you go. I got Vault. One of my favorite skills in this game. Now you can do this. Oh, why are you didn't spin it? Free shit. Did you think Dead Island? What is he doing? Come on. Oh my god. Um. I always thought you could pick up a fruit bar, burger patty, and crane would crunch it like it was a pack of peanuts. True. Oh my god, I just realized we don't have stuff like this in DL2. Hold on, I'll show you in just a second, chat. Hold on. I'm not talking about these traps, I'll just show you in just a second. But I wanna I wanna finish all these guys real quick. We don't have this, look. In DL2, when enemies spawn from these points, you can't access the points, but uh it, like an enemy spawned from this shack, but well, now we can enter the shack and loot it. See, look, string. Oh, no, no, wrong, wrong button. There you go. 
more of you are still coming. Alright. What's my opinion of the upcoming Dead Island game? Uh, it looks alright. I hope it's great. Alright. Enough of you. Enough farming. Let's go. So we got power, we got kickstun, multi-throw. I'm gonna say I'm gonna save up the skill point for sturdiness and melee throw. Two very powerful abilities. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Chris. Weapon ineffective. Let's get rid of it. And 29, that's a good damaging weapon. Let's get rid of these gas pipes and stuff like that. By the way, yeah, you can dismantle broken weapons um, to get stuff from them. It's better that way. FPS died for a moment. Are you dropping frames? No, I'm not dropping frames on my end, chat. Oh man, I think it's too late for this guy. Oh, nice. Okay, it's done. Fuck. You had no choice. He wasn't Blueprint. Human now Collectible. Hurry. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. I wonder how electricity affects them when they are already dead. That's a common misconception, actually. All the, uh, actually, no, but you know what I mean. Um, all of the infected are actually uh, still alive. There's no, oh, th shit. uh, the, the way the Haran virus works, every single infected being is alive. They're not dead. They're not undead. Uh, almost. Just give me a second. I was bashing the zombie to go. I do have 320 uh, frames drop, but that's for the whole stream. I'm not sure about um, recent stuff. All right, let's get rid of these. Reinforced by it burns mercy. Yeah, dude. Ah, oh, wait, there's gonna be a whole wave of people experiencing that quest for the first time in the following. That's amazing. And you know what, by the way, um, since the, I, I did, I, we did talk about a spoiler in this game earlier, earlier in the stream. But, uh, uh since there's a lot of people who are, who seem uh, pretty new to this uh, game, let's not go into spoilers and just talk about, um, gameplay stuff when it comes to anything. Crane here. So it's Corona on steroids. I mean, if you want to see it that Karen way, I guess. This doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer, and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zera. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain How do I play with my friend on Epic when I am on Steam? That is a good question. I don't really know. I never really tried it myself. The only... stolen file still takes top priority, um, though, right? Lacko, if he's still here in the chat, plays in Epic, and he regularly joins me on Steam. But if he does, we want to see it. Laptop or PC? I'm currently on my PC. I'm not running on a laptop right now. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. What does this say? Love too. And Crane. Thank you. Most romantic movie Thank since you. Love. Love too. I never Thank noticed you. this. What the fuck? Look how low pixelated. Look at the low res of these uh, textures, though. The infected are all over the street. So what does that tell you? Keep off the street. Try to stay Rosario, I think that's more of a testament to the popularity of this game, of the French, of this uh, franchise. There are still new people coming to the fold to this day. Oh no, he's down. I'm gonna finish it then. Also, I might as well put Enforcer on this, right? That's plus one damage. That's not going to do anything. What if I put Templar on you? On the knife. And Enforcer. I got a Giga Chad knife here. I, I, I'm wasting early game mods on 
like really bad weapons. Who cares? Because we'll get so much better mods later on anyway. I like how you use Epic Games release to make a new life. Yep. There's a chance for me to play DL1 PvE. And I have an excuse, and I'm gonna do it. You know what? Instead of using the firecrackers, let me kill everyone. More XP that way. Oh, look, I'm gonna get so many people here, I'm gonna blow them all up. That still hit me. Okay. <laughs> Does it get boring playing the same game over and over again? Not really. Not not with a game like this. Do the stats on Steam carry over on Epic, and do you get the uh, the claims if you're on Steam? Uh, are you talking about the the web the web the, like the item pack? You can get on any platform, I think. If you're talking about stats, or even if uh, even despite the fact that I've linked my Steam and Epic accounts to Techland GG, my my um. Okay, well you can't see it here. My stats are all, um... Um... Uh, all my stats... Uh, they're all basically, um... Uh, reset as if I've never played the game before. Let's go up here. Oh no, I already have, yeah, I have unspent skill points. For the welcome pack in the game, we have to talk to the Quartermaster. You have to redeem it at the Quartermaster, yeah. Uh, if you go early in the stream, you see me talk to the Quartermaster, and I redeem it there. Okay, yeah, that was very unlucky. She somehow did not go in the spikes. Dude, I've almost cleared the street. There you go. Did you ever hear of the guy? This is the guy. I have no idea what guy you're talking about. <laughs> that was awkwardly timed. It seemed like she hit me back, but it was actually just because I dodged back. Power leveled up again. Let's get more HP and melee throw. Now I can do the funny chat. Look. <laughs> oh shit, did I lose my weapon? It just fell through the floor. Oh fuck. Okay, well it's gone now. I think I can do this first car without any firecrackers now too. Min maxing. See, this is only just to use less firecrackers. That's the ex that's the, that's the only reason why I'm doing this chat. Trust me. All right, there's a bunch of bozos coming here too. Do you not get the welcome pack on already completed profiles? Uh, I'm pretty sure you can do it on any profile because you redeem it at the quartermaster. If you mean by save files, yes, you can do it on any save file. Dude, I'm almost at level 5, 5 for each. Just for environmental kills. The environmental kills are the best because they give both parkour, they give agility and uh, power XP. <laughs> you just walked into that. I didn't even do anything there. 
Alright, agility level up. Free running adept. I believe you can only claim the welcome pack once though, so just be careful, okay? For those of you who want it on like your main save, something like that, or, or multiple saves, just be careful. Alright, we're almost done. There's literally like... Okay, there's like four more guys. We're almost done clearing the street. Do the seam saves carry over to the epic version? They do not. There we go. And there we go, everyone's dead. A sure, Ikuza, if you can go ahead and try that, yeah. My station with the two pounds, Elvis ratio plus friendly fire plus ultra ball ultra balling ricochet George. Take that, George. Thanks, but thanks for station. The Gorn D1 is so good, looks very brutal and visceral. I agree. Look at all this meat. And this is this is a preset dead body, but look at all like the look at the way they all stick in like a mound of corpses to the spikes. Yeah, it's really nice. Hello, Alzheim. All done with the car spike. Keep on like that, you just might make it. The next trap's still spot, and I shouldn't have to Alright, we're doing more story chat, don't worry. Don't get caught out in the open. Spike, these freaks are everywhere. If I need to use a trap, how do I activate it? You can't. I told you. They're only for the nightmare. It would be funny. It would be safe if he says, Shit. instead of okay. saying you can't, he'd say, you don't. Like, shut the fuck up, Crane. You, you just don't. If I have Xbox and Epic Games connected to Tekken and GG and I own DL1 on both platforms, if I claim something on Tekken and GG, where does it go? Um... So let's say I have... So let's say the Welcome Pack can only be redeemed on one save. So I just redeemed the Welcome Pack on the Quarter Monster on this save here on Epic. If I go into my Steam Dying Light and go to the Quarter Master, it won't be there because I already redeemed it here. You choose where to redeem it. Unless it's like, yeah, it's pretty much that. And sometimes, it can, sometimes a rewards can show up on every, on all platforms. Oh, oh, there's a blueprint there. I didn't even notice. Barber shop. George another two. Aha, Miss West Asian got the George syndrome now. Is that a good or bad thing? Random question. Did you grow up with Vanos Gaming? I watched like three other videos total, I think. I don't think I'd have watched that much of them. What game are you most looking forward to? This year? Uh probably space like personally for me, Space Marine 2. Uh, for any 40k fans up there, but otherwise, uh, probably Dead Island 2. I was looking forward to the Dead Space remake and RE4 remake, and they both came out already though, so I can't see them. But they, they've both been fantastic. How am I choosing to play the game this time? I'm just playing it normally. I'm not- I am not looking forward to Starfield. I, I'm not impressed by what I've seen. Uh, Ikuza. Oh, hold on. Let me... Oh, I only got one. How many hours do I have in DL2? I think about 500 or so. I'm a Bethesda fanboy with no brain cells. Or well, at least you're self aware. I guess. <laughs> I mean, is chat excited for Dead Island 2? I'm excited for the potential, okay. uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait with bated breath though. That's the thing. How many hours do I have in Fallout? Depends on which one. 
New Vegas, I think it's like 200, and then 4, I think it's 250 or 300. And that's on PC, I'm not sure about my time on console, because I played a lot on console. The whole goddamn district went down, what the hell's going on? <sighs> not again. Alright, listen, there's a power substation here. Go check it out. Hey, this blackout has really put us in a tight spot. We're defenseless here. Both the safe zones and some of my traps are down too. We need to get the power up and run it ASAP. Is Fallout 3 good? It's alright. It's pretty good until you until you play New Vegas and fall and realize that Fallout like like Fallout 4 <laughs> It's like Fallout 3 it basically has the outdated gameplay that New Vegas has while having the shitty story and RPG mechanics of 4. It's like the worst of both 4 and New Vegas Vegas combined. I don't really like looking back on it, I don't really I probably will never play Fallout 3 ever again. You wait for me- Oh my god, I just got another fucking epic notification of, um, an achievement. Open Sesame. I wouldn't be doing stuff total yet, chat. I'm not leveled enough for that. Can't touch this. Achievement unlocked. Oh, I think that's killing 20 enemies in a row without being hit once, right? Spike, it's Crane. There's a building here covered in quarantine tape. You know what it is? I sure do. You are looking at the original quarantine ground zero. Bullet 3 is a masterpiece? I don't... I... I do not see it that way at all. <laughs> Uh, if anything, Fallout New Vegas is a masterpiece. Lightning in a bottle. I don't think a game like that will ever come out ever again. Alright, I'm not going to do that quarantine zone yet. I'm just going to do the main quest. Oh, can we do this policeman in time? Claim all these dockets, including survival kit, and multiple platforms. Nice. What about multiple saves? Ikuza. What did Philip say? I played DLC. Is it possible to join friends who got an epic? Yes, there's cross play between those two platforms. Like Crowning said. Don't listen to anything. As soon as he mentions ground pound, don't listen to anything he says, though. I don't know why I'm prepping this. This boss fight isn't even that hard. I was going to mention DL2 again, but I won't, I, I, for the sake of everyone's sanity, I won't do it again. In regards to, well, fuck it, I'll say it now that I mentioned it. I like all the special infected and dying like one have, um. They all have, they all have their own uh, introductions. Whereas he, uh, uh, in DL1, every single one has their own in, uh, unique introduction that you're forced to interact with. In D DL2, there's only the Banshee. Um... The Howlers... I mean, basically everything unique to deal... Well, the, you know what? Drowners don't even get introduced. Uh, unless you sink the city, so there's that. They introduced the Bomber in VNC. But Bomber's... Thing is, 
I'm talking. Okay, I'm talking about the right, fact the that reset, but um, once, you they know appear again, right? before the introduction in the story. So you can see goons. And by the way, goons are only introduced. Oh, this is a 58 damage floor plank. I'll be taking that. Uh, you can only see goons. Uh, you can see goons before it gets introduced in uh, to you. And if you don't choose the survivor path, you won't even see the introduction. Um, uh, cutscene of it. It just appears. Same with spitters. Spitters don't show up unless it, you know. Banshee, spitter, charger, goon, and bomber. At least the charger gets its own, um, introduction cutscene. I feel like all the, in all the unique, um, infected in DL2 do. There were no special infected that night. That's just unfortunate. <laughs> I think, I think that was before Teclan changed it. Spitters only show up as ex-girlfriends. <laughs> okay. Hey, Alex. I'll be back in... Oh, no, you already talked about... What's my opinion on Days Gone? Um... I don't really like it as much as other people do, but I think it's still a solid game. It's a fantastic first-time experience, and then, like, I feel like there's not really much else to do once you've actually completed it. They're killing hordes. I feel like the, the whole horde clearing thing... Um, even though it's just like, that's its main selling point, feels a bit repetitive to me. And you only, f uh, you know, try to entertain yourself by being as creative as possible, taking out those boards. Hello, zombie statue. I'll be taking you. We went to DL1 on Xbox and they didn't get the welcome pack. Um, Ikuza was able to redeem on multiple platforms though, so not sure what's happening there. Bang. Do you have to disconnect Epic from Techland GG? No. Shouldn't have to. I have everything connected myself. I'm an avid consumer of Vegemite. I I'll have it if it's available, but otherwise I won't seek it out. Something bad happened. We need to talk. Okay, give me a sec. Yeah, I feel like the special infected in DLT are way too wacky. Um, the only design that I feel like is um, better in DL2, if you compare the, the, the designs of the special infected. I like the uh, the spitters in DL2 more. Uh, but I mean, the toads did look unique in DL1, but they look very repetitive. And like, they all have like the same hoodie and backpack, and it's just weird to look at like that. Like, why? You know? But, um, apart from that, I feel like uh, the Special Infected and DL1, just purely for design-wise, are just much better. I'll be taking that pipe from you, sir. Thank you for your donation. Alright. Oh my god, I almost missed that one up. What's new in this version of DL1? There's nothing new, it's just, it's just on a different platform, on a fresh save, fresh everything, really. All my statistics and everything. Everything is fresh, so I'm just doing this out right now. Oh, usually there's a zombie down here, okay. Not anymore. Oh yeah, Dennis, yeah, see, gameplay-wise, I like bombers, how you can actually, um, cut their heads off in DL2 to stop their bodies from exploding. That's a nice mechanic. But I'm talking about purely from, like, design, from a design uh, perspective. Oh, I think the drop is available again. I'll grab that. Wait, did I grab the drop already? I did. Okay. I just felt like I didn't. From now, here's Nash. He's alive. But you need to get back to the tower. Jay called all the scouts in, and that means you.
Okay, let's put the UV flashlight down here. There you go. Oh, hold on. I'm going to change keybinds real quick. Key bindings. I got um, other. No, quick select. Equipment 3. Okay, yeah. Quick switch to UV is ready. I'm ready for BTZ. <laughs> Still at first assignment right now, though. It's weird how every zombie in DL1 looks the same. Uh, that's only the case with the toad, really, and nothing else. There's, there's, there's no, there's no different model for the toad unless you count the freak of nature, which I think even then, I think that's just a bigger version of um of. The Wajama Jabada, the, the toad, you know, the, the big ass toad, uh, Beelzebufo, that's what his name is. I forgot his name. But, um, other than, other than that, everything's unique, though. There's multiple designs of each enemy type in the game. You do, there's so many different variants of the D1 biters, it's crazy. D1, all volatiles will look the same, too. There's two different types there's the regular volatiles and the, um, and the alpha volatiles or blue volatiles or whatever you want to call them. Bombers aren't in DL1. Oh yeah, that's true. They all look they all look um, the same in bombers too. Yeah, I keep forgetting about bombers. But then there's also the uh, the hazmat bombers, and they're also called bombers. So technically, if you're going by name. Uh, there's multiple designs of the bomber, but that's being pedantic for me. The toad looks poppable. Oh, <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> what the fuck? It's like you pop a toad and it just bursts into like it's toxic puddle shit everywhere. Would DL1 benefit from a remaster slash remake? Crane here. Um, not really. I'm about to have a meeting with the. I'm almost convinced that DL1 is lightning in a bottle in regards to its poor gameplay and. Uh, how it works with the engine and the mechanics and everything. I'm worried that a remake will remove a lot of what makes it great, just from like the behind the scenes perspective of like new engine and how the new physics work and everything. I'm just really worried that like any deviance from it would uh, fuck things up. You know, the only the only thing that I could see would be benefiting uh, DL1 with a remake, specific a remake, not a remaster. Uh, with a remake is. Um, how I'll be the zombie works, which is the PvP mode. But that's about it. We're gonna do that one mission for the Transformers, that's a Volatile Nest? Yes, sir. But you don't actually see the Volatile Nest being there, by the way, which is weird, but hey. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of loot goblining. For now. Go back up. For 2025, but like get a remaster for DL1. It, it doesn't really need a remaster though, man. It looks th th this game looks so good already as it is. For us? Thanks a lot. Every little thing matters. I'm gonna go for barter. Brecken's mission failed. Jade called him. Chat, do you want a DL1 remaster or remake then? Because I just feel like it doesn't need it. But then again, RE4 didn't need one. Good job on and look that how that turned out. Uh, I mean, Crane, right? All right, I am going to be selling plain pipe. All simple thing. And that's about it. I'm going to keep everything else. Although, I'm going to buy all this. No, no. Yeah, I would rather they do DL3, but at the same time, I don't really have much hope for DL3. Crane. Listen, Wait, is this... Okay, so I think there are mo numerous moments in... Um, in this game, where Brecken like loses his cool, and I think this cutscene is one of them. I think is this the fridge slam cutscene chat? 
Is this the fridge slam cutscene? I'm not gonna skip it if that's if it is. I think it is. Okay, we're going in. <laughs> I like this one. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jade, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. Yeah. <laughs> figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right. Yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. <laughs> Jesus. No offense, friend. But you'll... Look, there's something else. Oh, my God. I don't know why. I just always find it funny when he, like, loot. So there's, there's the... The... Oh, Mother's Day, guys, quest. There's the, uh, the fridge slam. There's the TV punch. I swear he does something else where he loses his shit to and I can't remember what, what it is. Must still have a lot of things in that pawn shop of his. Alright, here we go. Look at all this. Um... Look at me wearing, uh, national outfits. Haran fighters. Got exotic. We're wearing one of my. Oh, let's. Should we wear the ratty just because we unlocked it? Oh, yeah, he slammed some bottles off the counter. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. That's the third. Yeah, here's three instances where he just fucking loses his shit. It's pretty funny. Something's going on in there. The door's locked from inside. Alright, let's go up and grab all these quests. Wait, I've never spoken to this guy. Hey, could you check on Bahir in 202 and see if he's around? Tell him he's late for his shift and Seth is getting mad. Could you do that for me? Sure, if I see him. He just licked an empty spoon. Dude, that mouth animation is so weird. What the fuck was that? Alright. You wanna try it? <laughs> oh my god, excuse me, sorry. Oh, he's good. Help me. Tell me what's are you talking No, no. I took antizin and the pain started. Oh, it's first people can tell me. Okay, I'll get Dr. Lee. Oh, no, wait, I like this guy. Look. What happened? Did you kill him? What? No. Look, he's not turning, but he needs a doctor. I thought he was done. Also, this guy says what happened, but this guy's mouth moves when he says it. If he needs a doctor, Did you kill him? You should get the doctor. I just like it. He's like he just wants to fucking kill him. Uh, chat. Do I give my do I give Dawood my gun right now? Yeah, yeah, fuck it, dude. We don't need a pistol. Pistol's playing on easy mode, man. Oh wait, I need to talk to Lena first before doing this. Hold on. Let's do good night, Mister here. Talk to Lena. Lena. Oh wait, can you give him anti gadoid I've never tried that. Can you do that? Someone, Yusuf. Don't hurt him. I know that he uh, he will take the last wish from you if you have it on you. Because I think it's like the highest damage pistol that you have on you. Alright. Um, uh, we are going this way to Yusuf. Yeah, I'm looking, no, you see nearly which which guy. Right now you're gonna cost you a lot more if I find you peddling that junk anymore. This way. Do the first one of that and <laughs> grab the flag up here without dying. Can I tell you, I haven't played this game in some years, and after coming back to it after playing Dying Light 2 in recent times, I can tell you Dying Light 1 feels so much more like Dead Island. Is that a, is that a good or bad thing, uh, Nyx? The Quest and Techno GG, do they update while playing the game? I'm sure they do, yeah. Alright, and we jump off this way, so we don't die from fall damage. And so we get reset. Easy peasy. Sometimes. Yeah, it takes some time to update. Well, sometimes it updates instantly for me, Ikuza, but yeah, it, it really depends. 
It really depends. How do you how do you know this when it's your first playthrough, sussy? Uh 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 true. Um uh <laughs> You can't trust anyone in this world. Come here. I've got a special deal. Oh, he's got a special deal for me, I'm gonna take it. Oh shit, I should put my uh, boosters away in storage so I have more space. Let me do that real quick. Oh, and since I'm going back up to the elevator, I might as well do the second thing of that. Gives it a much more similar vibe to them. I feel like that's because I said the old Techland, you know? The decade plus old Techland. How they did the games. They had the sort of Techland scuffness to them without the triple A. They didn't have the sort of triple A feeling to them, you know? If that's if that's a way you can describe a game. There's a way. Okay, let's go up now. You can't claim a multiple saves, but you can claim a multiple platform. <laughs> right. That's interesting. Is there a flag at the top here? I don't think there is, no. There you go. He does. Yeah, Miguel, that's a nice detail of uh, Dying Light. Uh, Crane's bedroom in the tower, which I'll, I'll go to right now, updates depending on all the side content and main content that you do. Including uh, pins of images of the uh, special effect that he encounters. So look, since we encountered the goon, he pops up there. At the, by the end of the game, this is all full. All the stuff is filled up here too. You can also go in Berserk here if you want. Now take a note that um, once you grab a specific guitar book from the school, you'll be able to play pr proper music rather than just one or two notes here. This whole room uh, changes and evolves over the game. Aiden has a room in the fisheye, but the problem is you don't access the fisheye until like 60% into the game, so... So chat, take like a mental note of that, and at the end of the stream, I will go back there and we'll see how much has changed. I'm gonna be checking a drugstore. All right, uh, we'll contact the GRE, check the drugstore, and we'll do Gazi, and we'll loot back this way. No, did the loot here reset? No. <laughs> you have dementia. Okay, that's. Like, people say, like, yeah, that's a cool feature, I like that feature, and then Mushroom Dusk is, I have dementia, Report. just out of the blues, okay. Tower boss is named Brecken, and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically, local guy, calls himself Rise. He's hoarding Antizen and then gouging the hell out of anybody who wants to buy some. I'm on a mission to get Antizen from the airdrop. If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. Acknowledged. Good job, Crane. You're doing well. Stay on task, and we'll be in touch. Be sure to call us immediately if and when you get that antizen. If and when you get that antizen. Level five, almost <laughs> six. Am I gonna do stuff total with the other times to get max level <laughs> legend level again? Nope. It's Lena. That's boring as fuck. Go ahead. We found two more vials of that fake antizen. Brecken is boiling mad. Yeah, I bet. How's Bahir? He's stable. But if we'd gotten to him ten minutes later, he wouldn't be. This stuff is lethal, Crane. Putting them out of business is your number one priority. Right, understood. Oh. There we go. I'm just looking for more herbs. Herbs are crucial for boosters. Oh, blue encounter. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, it's the guy to talk to. These are the worst kind of encounters. Hey, great, right? You want some valuable info? What are you talking about? Listen, I'm a civil engineer. I was working out of a firm in Old Town. Sector Zero, I guess people are calling it. Mm -hmm. Where are you mm -hmm. going, going on? We spend all our time on the sewers. Now that sounds thrilling. 
No but George, I don't know, you still don't do stuff at all. I, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Doesn't this game get boring? Nope. If you got a point, now would be a good time to get to it. Patient, huh? Can't wait to get out there and kill some zombies, huh? They go everywhere under the sea. You name a location, we've got a sewer running about five or ten meters below the surface. See, we were able to tie them into a bunch of existing caverns. I still point you, am I right? They spread out and ran in every direction. Most of them. Much larger than standard sewer lines, too. Where are you going, huh? around in the this is them basically Sorry, explaining the law. To exactly. Well, the system is perfect, is it? This is them basically, like, Techland basically filling in the law for the reason why there's so many sewers everywhere that the zombies are able to, you know, navigate around. Alright, chat, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, tomfoolery with these guys. So these guys definitely won't attack me after I talk to them here or anything. They definitely won't. I'm just going to do this for no reason whatsoever. So, there are... There's one here. I believe there's another one somewhere. Let me try and find it. Here's, here's the other one. So, for no reason in particular, I'm going to be uh, throwing these canisters into here just once the chat wants it no we no no no, no, no. you do not speak for the chat there you go he died he had a heart attack, my friend. Oh no, what happened? What a shame. Okay, shit. Okay, what about... Okay, let's grab this one. Let's grab this one. Okay, you're immune to that one. What about this one? Aha! That's the one that takes you down. <laughs> if you get them in the corner where the game can't stand them back up, they will die like that. What see? Can I do for you, my friend. All right, so I got some premium throwing stars here too. I might actually uh, use them for this fight. So, put this here. Put this here. Here. Okay, I'm gonna put two up there. The reason why is because I'm gonna be uh, doing some tomfoolery with them. Alright. Or, no, Chad, I could do this. <laughs> bye bye. Put one up here. Put two down here. Hey, L's here, my man. Yeah, I hear you're selling hey, look, antigen. it's Ghazi with glasses. I'm just, I'm sure. Yeah, well, Yusuf was right. Dead. We've got a visitor. Oh, what the fuck? He respawned. What are you afraid of? Face me like a man. I'm not done with you. Can't believe they respawned. I got scanned by the game. Okay, that's one down. What is this shit? Okay. I'm gonna kick you into the fire. Into the fire. You're dead. He's dead. He is gone. GG, too easy, no re. Thank you, cut G. Yo, Zominek with a five Polish lotti, thank you, man. Um, in Dialect 1, when the player character Crane makes contact with the GRE through this radio, the screen turns blue to signify he's communicating via a secure military channel. I mean, I guess maybe that's true. 
Was there a little pop-up saying the multiplayer was unlocked? I haven't unlocked multiplayer. Oh no, I have. Uh, yeah, I have unlocked multiplayer. I'm on single player right now though. Um. So there's still that one guy out there, by the way. Uh, we're gonna leave him to uh, mess around with the zombies outside and struggle with them. Keep him on the ground. Just keep him on the ground. Just keep him on the ground. Okay, that somehow missed him. What? This is why human combat in Deal 1 is fucking bullshit, man. He fucking deflected it while he was down. Can someone clip that? Can someone clip that? Can someone fucking clip that? He did the he did the parry animation after he stood back up. Crane. Yes. You can tell Brecken that counterfeit lab's out of business. Good work, Crane. That's a big relief. Are you all right? I'm fine, but Yusuf tipped him off that I was coming. I was afraid of that. Brecken was going to lock him up, but he'd already slipped out. Now, if he comes back, I'm gonna have a word with him. Oh, hello. You're still here. <laughs> Alright, so, let's go up and down, shall we? Can we do it like that? Or should we just go straight to Ghazi? I don't know, let's look for the edge of the cauldron area first. Kren. Okay, mushroom cats. Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. Okay, I wouldn't let me land on them. Things that these are Korean master. I agree, but at the same time, there's equal chance of them removing things that made removing the small things that made it great. You know what I mean? Look at the x-ray, he's stunned. He was stunned after that. Ow, ow, ow. I forgot, we're after the prologue, so viral spawn now. Don't join a friend's game, but I can't from Epic. Anyone know how to fix it? I, I haven't tried it myself. I can't really tell you, unfortunately. There's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. No, it does not, Ikuza. Because when you're in, when you're in with the quartermaster at night, uh, uh, at night. <laughs> 
It counts as daytime XP. Because you're in a safe zone. Safe zone gives you day XP. Yeah, you can get you can unlock the hand cannon through mercenaries now and, and um right? Um I think You know, it's really funny. There are people online who say, Man, I can't kill any zombie and die in like one when I play on Nightmare. It's a stupid zomb it's a stupid um Um whatchamacallit? It's a bullet sponge fest, and then you just see me with a shitty tier what like low tier weapon. Just four shot a zombie there. It's like, come on. I, I, it's just the people who like... It, it bothers me when people complain about that in Dying Light 1. There are so many ways to like easily kill enemies. And even then, left clicking a zombie to death is still easily possible here. I don't know mushroom cats. I don't know. Fucking hell. Hope I don't end up like this poor bastard. Boom. Alright, so before we, uh... Okay, I mean... George really wants me to. If chat really wants me to, I'll do stuff turtle now. Human <laughs> <laughs> enemies in DL1 are a pain or nightmare. They're a pain on every difficulty because they're so bad. I think that's the the worst part of Dialect One is the human is the human combat. I think I, I think everyone in chat can agree that the worst part of Dying Light One is definitely the um Shit, the goddamn switch broke down. There's a blind. Uh the the human combat deal one's the worst aspect of it for sure. Uh, I'll be surprised if uh people think it's not Can use do doors as a weapon, chat. Look at that. Uh, I can't make the Dead Eyes bow because I need a base bow. I wish there was a way to turn the electricity back on so you could turn it into a death trap for the, uh... You alright there, buddy? What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Gotta love DL1 sometimes. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I think that killed at least one guy there, yeah. <laughs> if 
you're ever unsure about trying to kill an enemy, just push them into a corner where they literally cannot move. And eventually they will die. There you go. Throw my beloved. <laughs> All right, come here. Hello. One of you are here. The other one doesn't really want to do anything, do you? Come on. There we go. Now, there should be a few viral spawns that I have to deal with now. And now that all the biters are gone, it will just be one on one. I saw her and she died. Come on. If I spawn, if I stand here and they spawn, they get instantly pushed down and they die. I'm, I'm afraid if I step away, one will spawn. This chat works. Four hits to the head, and then uh, and then rebar throw. Come on. And I think that's five, right? So we should be free of spider spawn of a uh, viral spawns now. We're just free to loot without any issue. You're being chilling now. Okay, now I'm. Uh... There you go. I get you for no reason. Oh, oh so you just like me right now then? Do you know it's if it's possible to join a friend on Steam from Epic and Dying Light? Yes it is, because I've had people on Epic Games invade me as a hunter or something, or otherwise. It's possible. I just don't know how to do it. I think it just has to be public matchmaking. I'm not sure if it's through uh, friend invites. It just has to be public matchmaking, you know? Yoink. Yoink. Free loot everywhere. Okay, there's, I think, uh, there's one more drop I need to get. What the fuck is this sweet spot? Right here. There you go. There you go. Inventory full. 30. Alright, this one does shit damage. See these these usually give good weapons, but because but because I'm such low level right now, they're giving like the the they're giving really good weapons for my low level. 
And in reality, it's like really shit weapons. 31. Let's get rid of you then. Got a good mod from there though, at least. Alright, and one more. One more. There you go. Easy complete. Combat adept. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Instead of just five hits this time. I saw the plane. Two drops this time. Double the chance. I can't Knife animations in Dear One are the best. I really like how um the DPS you can get out get from them by just spamming them over and over again, you know? Oh yeah, that's going to spawn a viral. Alright, well, we're running now. We are running. Let's do uh, Mother's Day. Yeah, but pain tanks knocking over biters, that's really good. Does it do that in DL2? Or does it just stumble them? I think it just stumbles them. I don't think it ragdolls them completely. Dude, I still hear him behind me. Might as well secure the safe zone while we're here too. He just stumbles in DL2? Bruh. That is a bra moment. Okay, you're being annoying. You're being very annoying. Come up! There you go, she died from the spikes. Spikes are your best friend in this game, they're just so fucking overpowered. <laughs> Alright buddy, let's see you try it. Oh. Oh, he did it. How about you come down though, what happens? There you go. Oh, no. Look at this. Oh, almost leveled up too. Oh, shop. Yes, please. Um, yeah, well, yeah, well, he's not going to have anything super useful, but I'm just going to buy some more craft supplies from him. There you go. Uh, I might sell all this bullshit, though. Do you want to feel so sandboxing at level for that reason? That's the absolute reason why I love playing this game over again, and I won't get tired of it. Have I got a deal for you, friend. He has a deal for me, friend. <laughs> oh, 
of Fifi and Baklava. Oh, okay, well, all that HP I gained from the Baklava is gone because of that hit. I should play the Stanley Parable. Probably not. First playthrough in the title might be uh, misleading for the new people. Uh, I mean, it's not really. It's my first playthrough on Epic. It quite literally is my first playthrough on Epic. I can understand people making that mistake, but I don't think it's being misleading. Let's go straight for Ghazi here. Mama ain't happy. Nobody happy. So you better make Mama happy. There you go. There's the line. No, no. Don't argue with Gazi. He doesn't want. He said the line. I have 27 HP. I don't want to heal yet. They got pinged on Discord. I mean, I'm not gonna pay attention to it until after the stream. I was gonna say something, but I feel like chat's gonna explode if I say it. Uh, Ghazi's really overrated. Tolga Vatina are much better. They give way more interesting quests, and they give multiple quests. Ghazi's quest is literally just a fetch quest. That's it. So are Tolga but at least they actually give something more interesting. Ghazi is fucking overrated. Fuck bitch, not now. Gotcha. Hey, hey, look. Don't crucify me. I'm just speaking facts, alright? Put the police bat on, which is one of the strongest weapons in the game now. <laughs> Unsub. What does the Dying Light Welcome Pack have? If you click, if you click on the link in the pin chat, it takes you straight to where everything you need to know: how to do it, how to get it, how to redeem it, and um, more importantly, most importantly, what is in the pack. Oi, oi, oi! I need to be careful. That ragdolled more than I thought it would, but I'm not complaining. Okay, spikes and electric. Spikes and electric. This is one of my favorite places to farm this, by the way. There's so many enemies always spawn here for some reason. Activate and go. This place and Rise's garrison are the best place to farm these uh, environmental kills. Yes, this is uh, a place with those shots, Matthew. Uh, with the photographer guy. What are you doing, buddy? Come here. He's a little bit shy. That's it. Uh, it's Egamon. There we go. Oh my god, please. I'm down here. You like the outfit? 
Yeah, the, I mean, the, I, I, it's not my favorite, but it's a pretty good outfit, the ratty outfit. What is the difference between uh, Dying Light and Epic Games? Epic Games is just a platform to play Dying Light on, and, uh, and as well as other games. Let's get escape. Escape's important. They're gonna keep them spawning underneath her, aren't they? Let's just go here. I can't, I can't move forward. There you go. Of course, we're grabbing the, uh... We, we never grab the, uh, the floor chocolate. Absolute monsters do that. Oh my god, it just ended as soon as, uh... Bruh, as soon as you just crossed it, it ended. There you go. DL2 needs quick kills and stun enemies. I agree. Takedown doesn't exist in DL2 on like stun enemies. Only stealth takedowns. Come here. There you go. Oh, this should be enough now. What are the min specs that play DL on PC? Ah, uh, you know what? I don't know. Uh, I've heard that performance for laptops is really bad lately though. Coffee from the fridge? Uh, I forgot there's a fridge in there. I'll go back and... In. There we go. It's one coffee, but it's better than nothing. Um, I can go up and secure these safe zones right now, actually. I'll do that after Gazi. Thank you for throwing that. I'll take that. <laughs> Am I going to play the following in Berserk? Yes and yes. Are the games epic though? You know what? Epic games isn't really that epic. I prefer Steam, but hey. <laughs> Are there any leaks slash info about PvP mode in DL2? Uh, not that I know of. Anything I did, I probably won't share it because I have signed an NDA with Techland, so it's that. What? Okay, there we go. I was going to say. Made DL free on Game Pass? That might come in the future, who knows? That should be a thing, though. You know what? They should have done that. They should have done that at the same time. So, like DL can like get insane popularity. Here's your movie and your chocolates. Wait till mom see this. For God's even again. Hey, for God's sake. There you go. Right. Okay, then I'll just let myself in through the roof. Now we can go. Wait, wait, hold on. Actually, I, you know what? I'm gonna ask Chat this question. How did you guys get in here the first time? Because the intended path is to go up this fucking annoying way. And uh, go across like this, which is, which took me ages, but I eventually did it like this, right? Oh my god, bruh. Did anyone do this? Because I, I, I think, I think I, uh... I did this the long way on my first playthrough, but it took me so long to figure out I had to do it like this. But I think it's, hmm, I think it's because like the, uh, granted it's the, the yellow, the yellow pipes. So it's like, you know, video game paint telling you to climb it. But it's like, it still took me a while to like click that I could actually come across this. And then you could just basically like go across and then jump down, right? But what you're meant to do, one, well, so not you. That's what you're meant to do, right? That whole long bullshit thing. What you can do is this instead. <laughs> I 
He jumped on the green warehouse. Oh, up. Wait, what? Do long parkour from here. Or maybe he jumped around and jumped, like, jumped like, up from above and landed like that, maybe? Just didn't bother. <laughs> Watching my streamers and farming stuff title for three hours to get levels and loot. No, good luck, man. Grind is hella annoying. You didn't even know about the path? Fair enough. The majority of people did it this way, though. The, the fast way, right? But I, I, I didn't. Because I didn't know what I was doing in my first playthrough. Hello, Gazi. Shh. The movie is hot. Mama's watching. Look. Chat. Colossal Kiwi. <laughs> it's Charlie. Make everybody happy. Oh, no. And I think we're good. <laughs> what, Dennis? Okay, no, that's not real. I don't believe that. <laughs> Might as well pick up the uh, quarantine zone here too. Oh wait, this is a way to get to meet the toad without actually um, going in there yet, right? It's the coolest Easter egg in DL for me. Um, uh, it's, well, it's, it's not the coolest, it's the funniest, though. Um, the funniest is the, the UFO Easter egg of the chicken, the space cocks. Um, the coolest is probably, if you can call it an Easter egg, it's the one with the volatile that's larger than all the other volatiles, and the volatile nest, like, talking to all the others. Not verbally, but you know what I mean, like, yeah. You see them communicating. Oh, I'm r right. Okay, so we can't unlock this yet because we haven't met the toad yet, and because we haven't met the toad yet, um, you know, because there are like five toads inside um, chemical storage. That's right. You got it. There's a blueprint. I believe there's another blueprint nearby too. I could be wrong though. Set. Um, oh shit, did I not secure this as a safe zone yet? Oh no, I, I secured this, never mind. Yeah. Uh, I'll do this. I'll, I'll go do airdrop actually. Yeah. Because we will meet our first human and well, our first Riseman coming up. I can also return back to the tower to sell some stuff. There's a movement named Charlie Bond, intellectually disabled man, under, who undergoes an experiment that gives him the intelligence of a genius. Is that real? Bruh. What game gives you the most nostalgia? Halo 1 and Halo 3. Halo 1, as in Halo CE, um, was my first ever game that I played, I think. And it was on my dad's Mac. They had a demo for it on my dad's Mac, and I played the silent cartographer level over and over with my brother on touchpad. God, what a game that is. Oh, there's a dude who needs help. Hold on. Look 
look at that. Cutting health heads might be clean, but you know what's cleaner? Fucking ex fucking exploiting their heads like that. Okay, you done? There you go, finally. is better than central loop. I think slums is the pinnacle of dying light maps. It's near perfect. I say near because there's a lot of, there's a few areas that are not utilized enough. The only disappointing fact about slums is the fact that uh, Rise's tower, you can't go there in open world, right? The best he got is his little compound to the west, which is weird because it's disconnected from his actual tower here. You know? I reckon Teclan wanted to originally make his tower like this base, right? Which it is still, but like in terms of like being able to ac access and explore in it and everything, I guess it's just not possible. I think Central Loop is really good though, because Central Loop um, greatly complements the mixed parkour that DL2 has, but I really like just from a pure spectacle and what it offers in terms of its size and, ver and uh, variety, I really like Central Loop. It, I, I think it just beats out Old Town Central Loop. Old Villador is fucking trash, we don't talk about Old Villador. We're not picking up a bag yet. Oh my god, I played I played um Spyro sometime. I don't know. It wasn't on I never owned Spyro. I played Spyro like a friend's place or something like that numerous times. Something I don't know. Dude, that, that would give me nostalgia, yeah. Did I say old Villador is trash? Yes. Well, I mean, it's it's mid, but it's like it's so poor compared to the maps we've gone before, you know. Do I like the new DLC, DL2 DLC incoming? I don't know. We haven't seen it yet. So it hasn't released. How can I like something I haven't even seen yet? We'll wait and see. I'm not uber excited for it though. I'm more excited for the uh, content changes like the parkour update, the night update and the combat and gore and physics update. Yeah, that's what's really good, uh, Abyssic. Each um, each map in Dying Light uh, feels very unique and different. Like, like Old Town's so different to, uh, to Slums. The, pro the reason why I said, like, when, I, when I say that uh, Central Loop just beats out Old Town, I'm not saying Old Town's bad, because Central Loop's a great map and so is Old Town. Just that um, it, 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 su it suffers from uh, Same-itis Syndrome um, a little bit. Um, there are less notable landmarks and variety in Old Town compared to Slums. Slums has like very distinct- Oh my god, the- Did you see the magnet? It pulled me to- Oh my god. Um, it's very distinct. Um. Um, areas in- in Slums, whereas in Old Town it's less so, but the, it's still pretty fucking good. 
Uh, and then, of course, you go to the following. It's a whole new experience. Holy shit. Yeah, I have to say, the countryside's a great map. Um, I have, but I do... Uh, my main criticism of the countryside is that it's not used enough. Oh, hello. I see you, Mr. Volatile. Don't know why you made a sound there. Um... Um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I think the, the countryside is not utilized enough. There are some areas where we would just never go to unless you go on your own volition to explore. No quests, like there's not enough quests in the countryside. That's my only, that's my real complaint about it. And you're not, you're not incentivized to go in those locations unless you like, again, explore on your own and discover those Easter eggs and mini areas and everything like that. Basically, cool locations that are unused, you know? Yeah, yeah, if the main criticism of the following is that it's too short and you wanted more, you know it was a damn good deal to see with what content it offered. It's just, yeah, if the only criticism is like, I want more of it, then yeah, that's, that's a good criticism. True point there, have a sec. Alright, we are... Yeah, let's go to airdrop now. Wasn't Paisa suit in slums? No, that's an old town. That's in the Mario Easter egg. Which is another cool Easter egg. Um, I need to do... So, the Easter eggs I can do here. There's the Destiny Cave. Which is I'll do later on. And there's also uh, the Korak Easter egg. Korak V1. Uh, that's going to be annoying, but I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Uh, I can't remember what else. There's way more Easter eggs in, in uh, old town than there are in slums. What else is there in slums, you know, as far as easter eggs go? If you count Jumper Girl, there's that, but I've never actually done that myself. Oh yeah, Mocha's Paw! Yeah, yeah, true, that was a more recent addition, but yes, yes. Under the overpass, yeah, yeah, Mocha's Paw. Oh, I wonder if that's on the banned items list. I am super solo. Jade gonna... Rice's men got here first. Fuck. Okay. Don't try to fight them. Just find the second one. Look for the smoke from the flare. The crate should be close by. Okay, chat. The best weapon against against uh, human enemies is fire. They, since we're on Nightmare, they might not die from one. Fuck. Nice gonna be mad. Fuck. Don't just kill anything. There he did. Fucking runners. Wait, I think the music drop is about to hit. hit. Oh fuck, now that we left combat, um, the music drop left. Then there's such a good beat drop uh, with the with the track that I was currently playing just then. Oh, that was a 50 damage claw hammer. Damn. All well, my streams, thank you, man. Over little should have used the windmill. Barney's hideout, Jerry base, and Hecon's base. All of those, I got proper treatment. All little would have been great. Um, I still think it suffers from same itis syndrome, but I agree with those points. Regardless, I could say yeah, it would have been improved if they actually use those uh, the windmill more and everything. Uh, the clicker easter egg is in Old Town. That's in the fan zone area. Episic. Oh yeah, wait, hold on chat. Uh, let's do the, uh... Uh, the E3 quest. The E3 activity. Which is rescuing the girl here. God, I remember actually watching um, the Runboy 1 trailer and the E3 trailers for Dying Light 1 back in the day. Yeah, it's here. This is where it is. Jade, I need to check something out. Now? Uh, 
You should try speedruns, you're very good at speedruns. <laughs> okay. Wait, let, let, let's go the Ethereum where they go up on here, and then they go up here like that. It won't take long. You don't have the time. <laughs> You know what's funny? Uh, um, both games have their E3 uh, quests or like activities in them, right? Like airdrops almost identical. And so is this this segment we're about to do right now. But um, and Dying Light 2 has the E3 shit with the kernel and everything. But one is like this one here is such a minor thing that doesn't matter if it did make it or it didn't. Whereas the kernel is such a huge bonus, like it's such a huge major thing that uh, even with this implementation, uh, people still don't like it because it, it, it doesn't fit within the rest of the story because they changed the story, but they still felt obligated to include it. Oh, hey, honey. She just clipped through the hey, door. What are you doing in here? You have to go, Mister. My dad. It'll hurt you. Okay, okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Please go. Go before it hurts us both. Go away. What has she got drawn up there? Got the plane? Hey Jade, I found a little girl. Oh, she's scared out of her See, mind. See, look at this. I, I, I could. I know you could. She but drew her experiences. I think that's her dad being sick her and her both her holding head. flares to attract the plane. That comes out at night. Help us, you know. And look, her dad's like got the cross-eyed thing, so like either dead or dying there. And she had nothing else to do but to draw in her wardrobe, I guess. So she draw her nightmares come to like real life. Fire writing gif. Techland when it comes to, to environmental storytelling. Fire writing gif. Techland when it comes to actual story writing. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. No, that's a different place, uh, uh, Ayako. I could deliver the drop to the quartermaster right now, but nah. We are not going to secure the antenna. We're going to wait until night for that. Why is your name green? Uh, I believe it was either George or Gordon that gifted you guys, uh, you and a bunch of other people, um, memberships. Power attack. Oh my god, gotta love power attack. Somebody has to teach them a lesson. Okay, Pog to George and Gordon. Seriously though, big shout outs to those guys for gifting so many subs to everyone. Look, they did the E3 thing of breaking out the door. This is a law friendly playthrough, County. So you'll see Crane become the 900 at the end. Unfortunately, you won't be able to cancel GP though. Alright, let's do the uh, Ray McCall quest. This gunslinger here. Oh. Wasn't Breck in the main character in D e E3 DL1? Um, I thought it was Antoine, right? French crane. Gotta love power attack, man. In DL, <laughs> yeah, even comparing, oh my god. But in DL2, the power attack is fucking bullshitly bad. It's so bad. Did you see Best Game of Ali's new video on which he said Crane is a Night Hunter? He did? Oh, that's a rip. <laughs> I think that it's in the video where he basically is talking about how Tech confirmed which ending is canon, right? 
That's the reason this game's good, no French cane? True. What are you guys doing? Fuck it. I tried to lure them so I could get them a bunch of uh, kills with them like that. Bye bye. Alright. Med kit. Chemicals. Ammo. Why would he have ammo stored at a convenience store? Well, it's like a hardware store a little bit. Look at all these tools and stuff, you know? Oh, yeah, I, for I forgot. I got grenades. I got grenades. Any of these lockpicks? Can you get in here anytime after you've un uh, after you've opened it? Yes. Pick it up, dismantle, pick it up, dismantle, pick it up, dismantle, and pick this one up, and dismantle that. Okay, I'm gonna bash open this door. Let's get out of here. Alright, airdrop. Oh man. Dude, the lighting and color palette in this game is fucking beautiful. And you could really feel the uh, the atmosphere tensing up, awaiting for the inevitable night to come, you know? Still the airdrop. I've been fucking around. I did some side quests though too. Okay, chat. So, with this cutscene, I am not going to skip um, the cutscene because I want to go straight into a uh, straight into the chase. Because fun fact, you could skip this cutscene and you won't go in the chase. Crane here. I'm about to recover an antizen drop. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very I have awesome. Hotline Miami. Your I have both of them. I got them in a bundle when they're on sale. I haven't played them yet, though. And if I stream them, I'll get destroyed by copyright, unfortunately. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. He's gonna grab one and save it. I wonder where that's gonna show up again. <laughs> Can you put one in his pocket? Let's see when that comes into play. Can't wait to see what story element that tag come up with that with that again. Jade, I'm at the airdrop. There's no antis in here. Are you sure, Abyssic? Because of Forzen. Basically, the entirety of Forzen's VODs are muted because of copyright claims, though. Abyssic. Here we go.
I'm being a little dramatic. And I've already lost them. <laughs> Bruh. It, I'll, it, oh, no, never mind. One spawned right in front of me and spotted me instantly, right? Oh my god, ourselves a chase again. Grab the flag, because it's uh, night time. And what I'm going to do, hopefully they don't spit at me, I'm going to climb up the top here. I don't think Volatile spit in the prologue here. Yeah, uh, because uh, these Volatiles are programmed differently to the others from what Fear has told me. They deal way less damage and they don't um, spit you. They're programmed not to spit you. So yeah, easy. Moncore. What flags do a night flags get? Okay, so since you earn two times more, no, I secured this. Oh wait, no, never mind, because I haven't done the bottom part. It still doesn't count as a safe zone yet. Okay, cool. Flags give. Uh, so, like all forms. Oh my god, I got another um, Epic Games notification, achievement notification. Uh, I'll go health regen, and then slide probably. But yeah, so if I pick this up while this was a safe zone, which counts as day XP, it would give me 500 XP. But since I'm playing at night and I haven't secured this, 1000 XP. Now, can I jump down without acting like an idiot? Easy. Alright, let's get rid of these bozos first. Oh my god, they're calling in zombos. Alright, well, I'll just do this then. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not going that way. No, 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 you do not see me. Chat, now's the time to just fuck around at night and uh, grind a shit ton of XP and items. Cable. Alright, so there's a drop here I want to get. Oh my god, not with you though. By the way, uh, fun fact, this night is infinite until you hit a certain checkpoint. So, it'll be as night for as long as I'm <laughs> willing to, you know, go out here. I did not die once. I haven't died once this stream yet. Touch wood. I am not jinxing myself with that. How many hours do I have in this game? Uh, on Steam I have 2.5k. 2.6k. One of those two. Alright. Never mind. Alright, I'm gonna go... You know what, I'm gonna kick you out. Oh my god, he just alerted the fucking bozos. What's the point of min-maxing in a solo game?
I don't understand the question. Do you think that because it's a single player game that there's no point in min-maxing? There's always a point in min-maxing in games with a progression system. I don't understand what you do. I don't understand the logic behind the question there. Oh, hold on. Let me uh go over to here to grab the drop. If you get yourself more supplies and skills earlier on more effectively, then you'll be able to do but then you'll be able to use those earlier in your playtime. That's the sort of min maxing 101. DL1 or DL2, which I prefer? DL1 all the way. What if Crane is a skydiver hit his head and all of his is his imagination, so he must do all this to wake up? Wow. <laughs> that'll be funny. That'll be also stupid as fuck, but that'll be funny. Is this stream sponsored? <laughs> I wish. Dude. You know what? If this stream was, uh, actually, you know what? Fun fact though, if this stream was sponsored, I'd be legally obligated to uh, put it there as being sponsored though. Um, but uh, I mean, I, I, look, I'm playing regardless of being sponsored or not. But I'm not being sponsored. I, w I would, I would take Epic's money if they paid me, or Techland's money if they paid me to stream DL1 because I like playing this game. Okay, Hold on a second around these guys. There you go. Are tin cans filled with meat or something? They, they seem to be empty. Alright. Oh, this bozo's here too. I think there's a lot of influx of uh, Dying Light 1 fans because of the recent um, thing with Epic. That's why. I'm getting a lot of people watching me right now, I think. Is that the reason? Or is the reason why a lot of people are watching me right now because I'm doing PvE? Every time I do PvE, my, my uh, DL1 PvE, my views skyrocket. <laughs> That's true, Mushroom Cats. Okay, I gotta go through the hole in the wall here. I can't be asked to go up. Dead Island or DL1? DL1. Look, as much as I trash on DL2, it's still a decent game, and it's better than Dead Island 1. Come on. There's no difference between uh, Steam and Epic. Not that I know of, no. Flag. I don't want one of these bozos to yell. I love melee throw. Melee throw and power attack. Oh yeah, melee throw is something you can't do in DL2. Another missing feature. Knives aren't weapons in DL2. Is there any blueprints or trophies here? I don't remember. I, I honestly don't remember any other blueprint location apart from the, the, the most important blueprints. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna go here now. Although I think at this early stage of the game, I don't think this tunnel is open, so we can't even go through this tunnel yet. I could be wrong though, because I don't remember. I forgore. Hey look, it's, it's shut down. Did you just try climbing over that? 
That's kind of funny. Hold on. Let me let me let me try going over that myself then. Cause he tried it. Ah. Nah, you can't. I don't want this bozo seeing me though. Um, can I go in this way? No. Oh, I can just open the door. Pretty sure there's a trophy in here. There's a blueprint. Never mind. Airport security. What the fuck does airport security do? Medium electric. Not bad. There's so many blueprints that are, that are just unused because they all. Oh. Hold on, this volatile just drowned. Let me uh let me loot that. Hello? You gave me 138 bucks. Useless. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Dying Light is a very scary game. Can you play Dying Light on a laptop? You can. I heard performance is not that good though, so be careful. But last time I played on a laptop, it was absolutely fine. I have a uh, 1070 laptop GPU. So. <laughs> As in like, uh, video card. Would you say DL2 blueprints are better? Yes. Being able to mix and match and customize is nice. But you know what game I think does blueprints better than both DL1 and DL2? Dead Island. OG Dead Island 1 did uh, blueprints pretty damn well. Yeah, I'm going the right way. I, 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 just, I was just double checking here real quick. I'm Al Rosario. Love all the names of the ZL1 blueprints? I do too. Oh my god, look at all the XP chat! Oh my goodness gracious. That was 100% worth it, even if I do die now. I'm looking for, I'm look, right now I'm looking for, here we go, here's the flag. Boom. You can't say that was not worth it. Dead Island or DL2? I mean, I already said earlier I prefer um, DL2 over Dead Island. Uh, PvP invasions are not on right now, no. Oh, it wouldn't let me, okay. Surely they can come up here, right? Are they struggling to come up here? Oh, wow. They really are. That's a bra moment. Alright, there is a flag up here that I can get. Can I buy Dying Light? I just answered that question, did I not? Yes, you can. You can, you can play it on laptop. And you can buy it on laptop. Forward roll. One of the best skills in the game. Let's get it. The reason why I'm going here early is because this is not considered a safe zone yet. I'm gonna get night XP, which means double XP. Have you tried the Switch version of this game? I have not. I don't own a Switch. Diet Pepsi or normal Pepsi? Normal. Diet versions and zero versions of soft drinks are so bad. I hate them. I've tried them. Never again. <laughs> Is there a specific reason I don't stream on Twitch? Uh, 
Um, mainly because uh, growing on Twitch is really bad and I get poor viewership there compared to YouTube. And it's easier to monetize on YouTube than Twitch. Twitch takes more compared to YouTube anyway. Alright, so we've got two zip lines we can take, right? Wait, are there even zip lines here yet? I don't see it. Okay, oh my god, I had a heart attack thinking there was no zip lines. But there are, thank god. Alright, let's go up north. Ooh, chat, should I do underground parking lot right now? There's also sunny apartments here too, right? Oh, it's sunny- no, sunny apartments is... Uh, like, Honey Palmas is like here or somewhere, it's somewhere else. <sighs> you have to stream 10 minutes again, you're still climbing the antenna? I'm climbing a different antenna. Alright, let's see if I can do this. I have 8 flares and 13 firecrackers, that should be enough. I'm not going to do it like completely stealthily, but uh, stealthily will be help. Doing it stealthily will help. Alright. Let's grab all those medikitties. Let's do it. Do I have any DLC? I have the Enhanced Edition, which gives me Boza Cord, Cuisine and Cargo, um, the following, and a couple of DLC bundles. Not Hell Raid, though. Who needs Hell Raid, though? Alright. So the first ones are always easy to get. Okay, let's go the other way. Oh wow! Well. Okay, you can't can't change the quest you're tracking. Two. Where's he going? <laughs> now is our opportunity to get the worst one of all the five. This is the worst. Because it's in the middle. And if you get trapped, you're trapped. Okay. Yeah, they all seem to be chilling and standing still, so I'm not sure what these guys are doing right now. I can't remember where... What are they doing? They're just standing still. Are they bugged? Or is it because I'm on airdrop and the AI of the volatiles is bugged? Oh no, he's coming after me now. No, no, he's actually doing something. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just chilling here. Okay, look at all of them. I'm moving. I'm, I'm rotating now. So I got three so far. Uh, let me just go for the fourth. I like how these two guys are looking at each other as if they're having a conversation. It's like, hey bro, who was the guy who came through earlier? Okay. Alright, where are you going, buddy? Going that way. That is too risky.
Nej, der er i dag. Oi, 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 he almost saw me. Alright, I'm running past and going back the long way this way. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Last one. And there's one guy. One guy's on it. I think it's this car, but I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm right. Easy fucking peasy, get rolled. Easy. Easy. Easy, 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 easy. I'm not gonna go for any of the chests. Plus five drops. Plus zero deaths. Ice's men beat me to the first drop. I ran like hell and they still got there first. Luckily there were two drops, so I still have a shot. I gotta get there before they do. Oh, the Korak. This is the Korak building too. Might as well do that while we're here. And the safe zone. I'll do the safe zone first. Is it safe? Welcome. Rusty Russ, nearly near the goat of YouTube. Wow, that's a... Okay. I don't... There's random bozos this here. He's just died. Oh, wait, chat. Look, look, this is funny. Look what you can do. This doesn't count as a safe scenario. So if I bait her out here... If I bait her out here, I'll just kick her out here. Look. Safe zone secured. Let's do the correct. I swear, this volatile turns and looks at me. I'm, I'm done. I think I shined up by UV. I forgot, I forgot about that being a thing. There you go. And boom. All right. I must know every bug in this game. Um, no, I don't know everything. I probably know almost every PVE thing, but not PVP thing. Didn't you do a nostalgia run a couple months ago? Yes, I did. Uh, revisiting series, yeah. No time to waste. Ah, uh, you know what? We're on nightmare, so we can't even use this. Stream tomorrow? I will probably be streaming tomorrow. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Okay, it's done. Fuck. There we go. <laughs> A blueprint I cannot use. Hog. So we're already at a legility level nine. Oh wait, is there a flag up here actually? If there is, um, uh, grab it. My opinion on DLR. 
I mean, that's what BDZ is meant to be, basically. But um, Techland implemented like two thirds of it. I mean, it's not finished yet. Um, but that's that I'm talking about Villa DL. Like DL is good. It's, I don't really have anything else to say about it. Uh, my, my the only thing I don't like about DLR is it removes Easter egg items like like the uh, Pizer. Keep Pizer in. Ban all other Easter egg items. But no. Fear keeps Pizer banned. Sad. Pain on BDZ. Fantastic concept. Poor execution. Well, mixed execution. Top to bottom. Look at these three safe zones, juicy, ready for the uh, securing. I wouldn't say shield, but uh, Pfizer, yeah, shield, shield, shield breaks it. But uh, I agree about Pfizer. Um, no, one, barely anyone uses Pfizer, and those few that do can add some really creativity with the way they can use it in BTC. Dying Light franchise or Dead Island franchise? You know what? We will see when Dead Island 2 comes out. Right now, if you just take into consideration like pre-Dead Island 2, um, I would say Dying Light franchise hands down. Just because Dying Light franchise is sort of carried by DL1, right? But... If Dead Island 2 comes around and it's actually fucking Pog... Maybe. 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 Arkham or DL tomorrow? DL tomorrow. Arkham will be Monday or Tuesday. One of those days. What's the difficulty? Revengeance? Yeah, new dialect difficulty. Revengeance. All that for a med kit. I lost the same amount of HP I, <laughs> I did to even get the uh, med kit in the first place. For a moment. What time is it for me? It is almost 10.30pm. Oh, chat. I'm going to play this smart. This is what we're going to do. I am so fucking intelligent. Watch, watch this. Mr. Goon, can you come here, please? Chat, prepare for your main... You, prepare for your brains to melt, alright? Because no one's ever done this before. Ay ay! It worked. <laughs> Didn't have to kill him. And now he got this one. It's a shame you can't open something that you've already closed, because once you've already committed to like closing, it's like, oh fuck, you can't even like, consider doing that strat anymore. <laughs> this is a lot more straightforward, I'm uh... I'm gonna turn this on so no fucking volleys come in. Alright, you bozos, come here. Try all you want. These volatiles are not going to help you. Oops. Pacifist run, real. Oh. Fifty-eight damage floor plank. Jesus Christ. Easy peasy. 
I have not checked out Crane's room again. I'll do it at the end of the stream, though. Do it at the end of the stream. Oh, wait, there's a, there's also, 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 flags over here. <laughs> Let me make sure it's in the right building, not the left building, I think. I think, I think, I think. There we go. Up here, up here, and boom, flag. And we also have this. And go over here. I won't be able to grab the pistols over here yet. I don't think, at least. But there's also a flag here, I think. Are there any DLCs in the Epic version? Yeah, you can get the definitive. You can buy the definitive edition, you get everything. But right now, uh, the enhanced edition is the one that's free. Yeah, you can't grab anything in here yet. I haven't reached that part of the game. Grab this. And now I'm gonna land on that fan. In, right in front of that volatile. And somehow not get spotted. Alright. We got tackle. What the fuck? Oh my god. Fucking Epic Games um, notification jump scare. Seriously. <laughs> Boom. Bang. over here lads that's it bye bye Oh my god, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot to turn on the, the power. Well, shit, we got three volatiles up there now. Okay, well, let's just chill in the meantime. What is epic? <laughs> what is scary? The epic trophy of dying light. Epic jump scares are the scariest part of this game right now for me. Epic achievement jump scare. Alright, the others should have fucked off by now. There's that one below, but should, um, I'm gonna go turn on the power right now though. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's here. There you go. See, they try, they, can't, they try to come up, but they can't because of the UV and they come falling down because of it. There we go. 
Oh my god, it just phased through that. <laughs> Too easy. Alright. And I think that's it, chat. Time to go back to the main story. <laughs> the biter rolls calling volatiles. Yeah, that was a really good mechanic. It's a, it's a mechanic that everyone overlooks. Everyone talks about the volatiles. But the biters, they also transformed at night because, like, like metaphorically and literally, like, like they became a different thing entirely. Like you have to treat them differently too. Any any single one of them can transform, and any single one of them can also call in volatiles. We'll do both. Uh oh. Hey, chat. What do you think of my epic gamer skills so far? Zero deaths. <laughs> I say that and I look at my HP and I get a little bit nervous. I'm just healing. <laughs> Tim Sweeney, be proud. Who the fuck is Tim Sweeney? Uh, I basically look at them as virals, but like, I mean, they're, they're called Nightwalkers. Attention everyone, this is Brecken. If anyone sees Dawood, get him back to the tower ASAP. Oh, hell- I saw him in the damn reflection over there. Hello, Shakur. <coughs> oh my goodness gracious, is that chicken wings? Look at that. Homemade chicken wings? Thank you. Those look bussin'. Well, just before we start eating that chat, let's go in and, uh... Oh no. Go in here real quick. You want food, Cam? Yeah, 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 give me a second. <laughs> give me a second. What do you get from a zombie during the winter? I don't know, and I don't want to know. Try guessing. You know what? We're not going to sign anything in yet. If I drop all my things real quick. Yeah, look. look all this new shit. There you go. Alright, chat. Uh, how about we chill on the rooftop? I made it in one piece. Now I know how broken my. Oh, but we're going to play mercenaries off stream, Tibo. Oh my god, he what just spawned there. Happened? I heard Good the shots. shots. You survived the night. To snap. Too no, bad that run gun. didn't work out. Just glad he Alfie's looking for you. He's in his workshop downstairs. Reckon. Let's watch this as I eat. I mean, we need Anderson. I know, but buying from Rise? You can't be serious. For God's sakes, I'll go. I'm not scared. Absolutely not. We've discussed that already. We didn't discuss oh my God. it. You just decided that I'll I... go. More sauce. Yes, please. Are you serious? Well, thank you. This rice guy has never seen my face before. Clean slate, right? Cat wants food, Cam. Could you guys give Crane and me the room, please? I'm going to set up one hand because one the other hand's dirty. You sure you're up for this? It has to be done, doesn't it? Well, I'm not gonna argue. After this cutscene chat, I'll show it. Race's place is over here. Just find out what this will cost us and come back in one piece. Alright. Tab out. Over here. Food cam. On. Why is it so big? Hold on. Give me one second. Whoa. There we go. 
Was? Just this. Nice chicken wings. Of course, it's bus and chat. All right, let's tap back into the video game. It is blue cheese sauce, and then there's like some like like sweet chili honey sauce as well. It's actually bussin. Uh, let's go down. Let's turn all these quests. We've collected all the bottles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speaking of which, Brecken asked me to pass. Let's go up here. Another one. What happened? Where's we the wound? chill and eat. He has gone. And he has taken my boy. Do you know? I'll get your son back, Salma. I don't know how, but I will. The wound. Okay. Answer me, you son of a bitch. Answer me. No oh, need to shout, up. Crane. No need to follow me either. It's pointless. Please. Tell Salma I'm sorry. I had no choice. Sammy's gonna be safe. I swear. I'm not gonna do Wait, don't, crates, no. Dawood! Dawood! Where are you? Shit. Wait, really? Holo? Someone ruined their life over chicken wings? That's a bra moment. Alright. Well, in any case, let's stand at the very top here as I eat my food. Chicken wings. There you go. Let's look at Haran like that. There we go. Are they grilled or deep fried? Uh, put in the oven. They were put in the oven. Is that grilling? I guess so. Yeah. Do you want me to pass you one? Sure. So good, chat. It's actually really good. Iceland type? What do you mean by that? Any difference between Team and Epic version? No. Same game. I'm already halfway through these. No, not more. What the city to the right is? That's Newtown.
Okay. Yeah, that's a that's a new town. If you read the Nightmare Row novel, the Dying Light book. Talks about what happens there. Dear Regulus. Okay, no, I'll get back to gameplay after this as well. Imagine if Dying Light 3 takes place in Newtown. And to be fair, with Dying Light 2's verticality, Newtown would be really cool. Because I think the THV ship in DL2 ruined the lore. I can see that perspective. Mm hmm. This shit is bussin', you're right. Chat, what did you guys have for dinner? What was your bussin' meal of the day? You guys eat food. <laughs> You had dough? What do you mean? You did not bake it? <laughs> Eric, my man. Epic stream, lol, dude, forehead. Ten, thank you, man. Pancakes with Nutella, nice. Chicken show last last night, nice. Yeah. Food consumption is complete. I'm going to wash my hands. After that, I'll leave you to crane looking here. I made some eggs, I got some drinks, and I finished work. Nice. What kind of eggs? Scrambled, fried, boiled. No, it's I'll in come French! Back.
<laughs> All right. Scrambled is the easiest. Yeah, sure. I do scrambled too. Although fried can be really nice too. Finished at 7.5 hour overnight. I had to convince myself to cook eggs. I mean, if you had the courage, if you had the energy to do that, then that's good. But uh, yeah. How's the epic play been? It's been very epic, Quill. I've had zero technical issues, by the way. Not a single one. Oh my god, I went to the wrong side of the building. Uh, it wasn't a keyboard cam, it was a food cam. Mr. Terek. And you just reminded me to take it off. Uh, boom. Chat, does the stream lag when I tab out and tab back in? Because it, it lags my preview. I don't know if it actually lags the stream, though. What's this means to see of Epic? Mm. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> All the side quests are done. Let's go. Oh, okay, so every time I, every time it lags, so so, okay, so it does it does lag when I tap out for the stream as well, not just for my preview. Ah, yes, this mission, searchlights. You're up. What's the so, okay, I think I have to. Let's just really good intentions, huh? Or voltage searchlights is the other one. Uh, I'm gonna go with lucky repair. Oh man, this means we can survive for the next couple of days at least. Thank you so much. Oh man, this means we can survive for the next couple of days at it's least. Silent. Thank they hear it. Crane, can you hear me? Crane, can you hear Jade? me? Yeah, I copy. Something wrong? No, no, it's um. Listen, Eric, doing some we gamba. All I have not played Deal in German. I think I've heard someone run it and speedrun it in German one time though. That sounds a bit goofy. You know, I meant to be right after the outbreak. <laughs> it's twisted, you will win. Long, Dude, that train edited clip is so good, Terry. Most decent man I've ever known. But I just want you to know that I don't like Amir knew the risk. And Crane, we know that you two are taking a risk to do this for us. Look, Jade. Oh, they're transforming. I need we'll to get the fuck get out of here. The antizen, okay? Okay. Just, just come back in one piece, all right? Oh wait, hold on. We can grab this up here. This um blueprint. <laughs> Boom. Zaz, Zaz Higalka. Sus. Okay, let's grab this drop and the drop by the water. And about barbado, barbado, barbadied up, barbado, barbado, barbadied up. I'm on nightmare difficulty. Thoughts on kick? I don't really look into it that much, so I, I, I don't know. Competitors are always nice though. So that's that. Nice. Yo, Quill, sixty nine. Quill with a sixty nine. That's a very nice <laughs> donation there. Thank you very much. Seriously, New Zealand at $69. Nice. That's X on A. X on A, bro. You need to go. No, it's in French. There's the punch there. It's in French, therefore I'm disappointed. Oh wait, we could grab this. If this drop is right in there, we could do the uh, the voltage quest first before doing anything else. Yeah, let's do that. And then we grab it when we go into the thingy. Yes, yes, yes. What happened? What do you mean what happened to the audio, Tarek? 
That was, um... That's the donation sound. It's me hitting the desk with the... With the, um... Yeah. It's funny. Oh, I, I find it funny. We're committed... On my channel, we're committed to hating the French. Oh, the, oh, oh yeah, the Survivor Sense. Yeah, Survivor Sense mutes everything else. Survivor Sense mutes a lot when you uh, activate it. Welcome. Hey, hello. Became a member. Big Pog. Big Poggos. Hey, I'm in the substation. thank you, Nankala67. The mechanic of the game website. We're talking about the website kick, which is meant to be like, uh, is it, it is kick even a thing right now, or is it still like in development? I don't know what it is. Good. Uh, alternative to Twitch streaming website. Substation. Is there a way to see how many people play BTZ? Not really. Maybe Techline knows, because they they sometimes come out with some interesting data. But uh, otherwise, no. Ain't no way you're grabbing me. Ain't no way you're grabbing me. Alright, Alfie, two down, one to go. You're doing good, Crane. But the spotters are reporting all kinds of movement. I think the Volatiles have caught a whiff of you. Volatiles. Roger that. Volatiles. Let's go for this. Favela Fever. 2k XP. <laughs> Tarek, do you remember? The, oh my god, I forgot the route for this, Jesus Christ. Just like the old times. <laughs> I like how he jumped ahead, knowing where I was gonna go while I was mid climb there. That was kind of funny. This one? Welcome. But Villa Fever was one of my favorites back in the day. Not anymore, but it's a pretty good one. Also, I'm pretty sure this uh, all this got restocked, right? Yes. Miguel, member of three months. British food caused the Haran vice. Did I read that already? Uh, do I have dementia? I probably do. Um Dialight is a 2015 horror survival game for developer tech. No, you're just reading it out. <laughs> What am I expecting on the patches for DL2? I'm expecting good stuff to happen. Good, meaningful changes that improve the health of the game. And the user gameplay experience. <laughs> I'm at the main station, Alfie. Just tell me what to do. Don't be stupid, they'll tear you to pieces. 
That's my problem. Now tell me what to do. You've got to find the main panel. It's in one of the buildings. Oh my god, this worked. Fire it up now. Hang on, hang on. Eat boats, you freaks. <gasps> freaks. What a now bad word. No bullshit. Look, I've got a field to do with. But when I get back, I'm gonna take care of you. Hold on, is there anything over here? Oh my god, stop! Jesus Christ. Fucking Epic Games jump scare sound. I got a uh, notification for um, uh, achievement. I think it's complete, like that side quest specifically. No, uh, Tarek, not for Parkour Fever. That's only for Rise of the Phoenix. Parkour Fever, the timers are fine. For, for some reason. Some, some, some are fine, some are not. I can grab the uh, flags over here. 2k, free 2k points. Right off the bat. Yeah, it was just for Rise of the Phoenix. Um, Tarek, when Bob went and investigated. Loot house and flag. Okay. Grab that please, thank you. What do I reset my flashlight? Because it has a limited battery on Nightmare. Tackle into ram. Not in BTZ, no. At least I don't think so in BTZ. I don't think it does in BTZ. It's only PvE. <clears throat> Yeah, it used to be a, a hard-only feature, but they made it uh, happen on Nightmare like a year and a half ago, I would say. It's a weird thing that they only change now, but I mean, it's fine. I would have appreciated if they made it so you can't buy ammo on Nightmare 2. Because you can buy ammo on Nightmare, but not on hard right now. It's like, okay, weird. Well, since you're awake. Come take a look at my stock. I am taking a look at your stock. Stock these nuts into your mouth. You got him good there, chat. We're gonna sleep until night because we're gonna be doing everything at night. 
You have orange weapons at the beginning, that's a W. That's only the EXP caliber. This is an Easter egg item, but yes. You are right. Um... 12... Uh, yeah, might as well go camo. Can't go wrong with camo. <sighs> this once and for all oh Show me what uh you let's do this right now Ooh, fuck it this fucking little bitch right here i got nothing to prove but fine let's do it is it only because of the eggs pick caliber or any orange weapon Wait, what do you mean uh, i'm using i'm using exp caliber because of its special effect uh, you'll see me use it in just a second. Also, I'm gonna probably gonna lose this. I fucked up real hard. Maybe not. Now we Gucci. Are there currently any codes you can redeem on Techland GG? Yes, there is a Steam guide that I have. It might be on my profile, my Steam profile, but um, that has a bunch of codes you can redeem. Well, deal one and deal two. Hmm, Rahim has taught you well, but next time we'll see if it's well enough. Hey, be, 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 be. Little bitch. Uh, you have uh, orange weapons. Don't show up in the shop. Um. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a 0% chance or if it's very small percent chance if you're on, um, um, Nightmare. I know that, um, when looting, uh, on Nightmare, uh, chances of purple and orange teardrops are basically, like, almost zero, if not zero. And, uh, before it was patched, you were able to get gold weapons from them. Uh, from hardlock chests and stuff like that. Uh, that's not a possibility anymore for whatever reason. Okay, Raheem, I'm here. Make sure they see you and know who you are. You don't want to sneak up on them. That's a good way to catch a bullet. Wish me luck, kid. Good luck, brother. You're going to need it. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Hands up! What the fuck do you want? I'm here to see Rice. Brecken sent me. Brecken? That asshole on the tower? Come to make a deal. What kind of deal? The kind I make with <laughs> rice, not with his flunkies. All right. Let him through. This ought to be entertaining. Oh my god, stop jump scaring me this fucking... I met Rice, and Jade's right, he's a psychopath. Jesus Christ. Uh, I got an achievement for meeting Rice. You're here to join? Crane. Hello, Kareem. That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. He just don't fail, forehead. Oh, we can get the basic bow. Okay, that's actually very important. And pistol ammo, yes please. Oh, we could have actually bought a German 9mm pistol too. I can make the dead eye bow now. We go here. Now we can go for brutes for that extra damage. And I guess just enforcer. There you go. Do I have the Ron Ranger bundle? I do not. Because this is just the enhanced edition right now.
Actually, I'm gonna put this here. Go to here. Controls. Um. Okay, clear. I'm gonna switch EXP and There's the other thing. There's a guy named around. Kareem. He's like Rice's major domo, I guess. Oh shit! I don't have the arrow bl arrows blueprint, do I? So I can't even use this right now. You know what? No, let's go back out. Is nightmare hard? Just met a guy named Kareem. Um, for a new player, yeah. But if you're experienced, it's pretty much like the standard difficulty. It's pretty straightforward. You and I could be real good friends. Blueprint arrows. Yeah, I need uh, some monitors. Because of that, I'm gonna sell a bunch of ciggies. I'm gonna sell more ciggies. Okay, I'm just gonna sell all the ciggies. There you go. Arrows blueprint. I'm gonna sell the knife and other things too. Hey guys. Alright. Yeah, we're good. I th me thinks we're good. I'm playing single player for this playthrough. Just met a guy named Kareem. Yeah, right now. He's like Rice's major domo, I guess. Uh, you have some claim for deal so you don't even own the game. I mean, fair enough. Whenever you're just going to be saving up, whenever you want to do that. <laughs> oh shit! I haven't crafted any. This is why, well, this, among other reasons, is why the bow, bow is the most broken weapon in this uh, whole game. Might as well start leveling my power a little bit. I missed. Dead Eye feels- I never actually properly used Dead Eye, because I always just use, like, other ones instead. I should really start paying attention, not just mindlessly playing. There you go. I can also camo too if I wanted to. Studying this too. I hear a drop coming too. There is crossplay between Steam and Epic. That is true. That is very true. I hear. Well, that drop sounds nearby. That is very nearby. Alright, I am going to loot all this. Loot the good. So that we are good. I'm missing one arrow. I'm already minus one. <clears throat> Toxic lichen. Lichen, lichen, lichen. 
Uh, I'm spamming survivor since, by the way, chat. That's why the sound's going all bugged. Because it does that. Oh, wait. There's a whole... There's like a care package drop on the highway here, isn't there? <clears throat> here it is. This time I end flares. And I don't think this appears ever again. Does the Van Crane bundle still not give you the blueprint for the crossbow bolts? I don't think it does, no. Are there any rare outfits in DL? Uh, pre there's, there were pre-order exclusive outfits for the PlayStation and I believe for uh, games, um, oh, GameSpot or whatever, you know, the company that, um, that you buy games from. The PlayStation and Xbox had their own um, pre-order exclusive um, outfits, if anyone can remember them. I don't. Oh, that was close. Not close enough. Alright, I'm going to be doing this quest at night, chat. This one's a little bit difficult. Just a little bit. Let's see how fast he can kill the goon there, though. Oh, hello. I'll go that way yet. I'm playing on nightmare difficulty. I was going to be a big fan here. I've been watching for a nice amount of time. Been wondering if we could play together any time. A cop deal, enhanced edition from Epic. Or maybe. He's... Oh my fucking god. Or maybe stream of subscribers. You know what? After my um. I might just start doing like casual PvE streams of viewers um, at some point. I'm not sure when. Both for DL1 and DL2, just fucking around, you know? Um, I want to finish up my playthrough and on the following and all Crane. the DLC, basically Report. all the content that the Epic has here. Just met Rise. And then maybe no if I do New Game Plus, line. we could do co-op or something. Psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politics Please no more BTZ. <laughs> No, he thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. I mean, yeah, as far as rare outfits go, pretty much anything that is an event exclusive item is rare. That, that's not also available. Also, why is it so much darker now? What the fuck? Jesus. Alright. Oh, no, no, no. Now that we're here, I can do this, um... Uh, Quarantine zone, holy year tunnel, might as well go for it. I'm a death knight runner, not doing that. Let's get rid of the virals and then we're good. It's a thing in all quarantine zones where every all the zombies that appear in the quarantine zones are the late game variants of said zombie type. 
dude. Oh my god, Abyssic. I wish Dying Light had a randomizer mod. I would play the fuck out of that game. That would be so much fun. Oh, like randomizer, but chat, but chat gets to vote. Chaos mod, right? Is that what I mean? Like chaos mod, but where uh, chat gets to vote, choose, you know, one to four. Hey, derp, derpiness. Derp, derp, derpington the third. I asked Fear about it, um, Abyssek, and he said it's very hard to do if it's even possible in the first place at all. I don't think he's looked into it though. Four, five, okay. Watch my Night Runner Cop playthroughs, and it's been great. Oh yeah, I remember. Um, what? How long ago did I do that? Now it was like the beginning of this year, wasn't it? Oh yeah, look, the funny. Look, you can only do this in like very few places in the game chat. <laughs> Dying light RP. You know there are people who do that. I know people who do that, or did do it, not anymore. What? Oh my god, I know what happened. The fucking... Oh my god. Chat, do you know what happened? I know exactly what happened. I can replicate it perfectly. Look. Because that's the container that you f that falls and crushes and crushes people, right? The, the the of the two in this place, but I guess its death plane persists even after it's landed. Meaning, if you manage to clip your body enough inside of it, you'll hit the death plane and fucking die. Same death bag as Bozak, yeah. But at least, but Bozak's is silly as fuck though, because the death plane area makes no sense. Or at least with the death plane with that container, at least makes some sense, you know. Oh, fun fact: if he if he ADS, the arrow goes through them instead of um sticking in them. That's why I, I that's why I always just regular fire rather than ADS with the bow. Because ADSing means that the arrow goes through and you can potentially lose the arrow as it goes way way far up ahead. Okay, it's okay. Well, Abyssic, I know I know there's some um, things you do to actually push push it with the buggy, right? Oh my God, where did the arrow go, dude? Oh, minus one arrow, I guess. You can push with the buggy, and there's some uh, bounties in the bounty board that ask you to like push that hay hay bale through like some things or whatever. 
Um, I don't think I've ever seen someone say you could push them. Oh, you know what, Abasic, you know why? It's because in the E3 demo, not E3, in like the early demo that they had, in the early demo that they had, you actually were able to push them. Ground pound, drop attack. I'll go for drop attack. Uh, I'll go for ground pound because you can go into drop attack after. Yeah, in the uh, early showcase for the following, they actually had gameplay where um, Crane pushed it. Yeah, Quill, that thing. I, I actually, I've never done it because I've never been bothered to do the, the bounties that much, but yeah. Did I choose the wrong game? Play DL first. You know what? Playing DL first is better because if you play the worst game first, then you'll have an even better experience the second game afterwards. Whereas if you play the better game first, then you'll be disappointed with the worst game when you play it. I.e. you would have been disappointed with DL2 had you played DL1 first. But now that you play DL2 first, you won't have that same level of disappointment. Fuck you, I am getting, nope, there. Look at all these chests. Baddington, Chestington. Oh my god, achievement unlocked, pearls in the mud. Imagine playing some like, imagine being like deeply invested in like a story game or like a horror game and then you just get that little fucking notification from Epic that you did something. Like bruh. Is the game fun? This game? Absolutely. Oh, tipped cleaver, 115. Very nice. Oh, I got some actually not shit weapons now. Still pretty bad, but not bad bad. What can I make out of you? Barber. Medium bleeding effects. Might as well go for it. I can make a last hope. Should I? <laughs> Or the alternator. Fuck it, dude. Last hope. No. Oh, no. I actually made the alternator. God, what a fucking awful looking weapon, but statistically, it's actually really good. So might as well start putting stuff on it. Go for Paladin or... I'll go for Paladin. Oh, barely uses any stamina. Did I search all the chests here? I think I have. I'm just gonna look around anymore because uh, the quarantine zone chests all have pretty damn good loot. <laughs> Clicker and the kings are the same. They're essentially the same, and but as Abbasic said, yeah. Um, if uh, a clickers Kareem. sell, if you want to like sell a king or a clicker, I, I don't know why you would do that. But no if you word. if you ever were, had to sell kings and clickers, um, selling clickers gives you more money than kings. Hey, Al Capone, you ready to do this? I am ready, Mr. What Karim. What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. Modulators will help boost the signal, so Rise can communicate with outposts at the far reaches of town. 
Well, it's a benefit for everyone, not just Rise. But the Emperor must monitor his empire. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. These goons are weaker than some of the biters I fought. <laughs> do you know the feeling when you wait for BDC match for over one hour? I never really had to do that. Like the longest I've waited is probably half an hour or like 20 minutes before I just stop playing. Kareem, I'm at the first antenna. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. There we go, he's dead without alerting the shit around here. Alright, introduction of the Spitter, the Toad. What the hell? What is it, the Metro Games are horror games? No. They're on the DL1 levels of horror. They have horror elements, but ultimately aren't horror games in my eyes. Well, uh, for, this has tier 3 electricity on it, by the way, which is pretty damn good. Oh, the toxic snot quill. And then, like, Kareem's reaction is like, yeah, that's not a bad reason. That's, that's true. Uh, duh. Spitters do also have an animation, but it's not as clear. They just sort of bend over and sort of go, uh, a bit. The, uh, as their cooldown, so to speak. The tail is a lot um, less obvious in DL2, but they do do it, yeah. How long am I playing on streaming? I'm probably going to finish after pack with rice. Chat. Does he live or does he die? We're on Nightmare. Will he live or will he die? This zombie right here. Vote. Not vote, there's no poll, but like, what, what are you going to say? Live or die? I'm not trying to do Rise of the Things, I'm just playing through the main story right now. Uh, Duma. Wait, I didn't pay attention. I didn't get any Shit. XP, so he Clean. lived, right? Someone already scavenged this thing for parts, there's nothing up here to switch on. Look at him, he's there, I don't know if you can see on my stream right now, he, he's wandering right on... He's alive, he's walking around in the river. He lived. One K XP from the flag. Tis but a scratch. Okay, Crane. Hey, 
Hey, Kareem, what do I do if the second transmitter's trashed? You die. The better question is, what will you do if you disappoint Rice? And the answer is probably, die horribly. I'll go this way. I'm wearing the ratty outfit from the, uh, the bundle that they're giving out on Techline GG. The E place. Hot sauce in your eye when you were 10. To be fair, 10 year old, 10 year olds have no idea what we're doing. Can I the same thing as brightness? Yes, pretty much. You see that volatile just like chilling and running by. Oh, Marvin Zucker's battle journal. I was gonna try and chase that thing so fucking fast right now though. Jesus. Rip bozo. Rip fucking bozo. It cancel the tightness? It does. Don't ask why. It just does. <laughs> I agree, Flamey. I wish that too. After playing DLT first, DL1 feels like the newer game. It feels like the newer game? Cream him at the second antenna tower. And the fence is electrified. Well, I guess it's more polished in that inside. regard. What the fuck do you and like? more complete. I need to climb the roof. What? No, 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 I didn't say that. You want to climb by? Dad, these guys are killers. Please stop. What's wrong with you? We're trying to stay alive here. Dad, these guys are killers. Yes. <laughs> Isn't how good? All right. Have you watched Only Zombies First Impressions of Dead Island 2? Yes. Look at the blood on his hand with this and outfit. This thing's still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey, Kareem, second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. Oh, I'm so close to leveling up, man. Alright. Oh. Uh, I'm on nightmare difficulty right now. Zoom up. I'm not gonna kill that toad, fuck it. Um. Something else. Oh no, it's the package quest next, isn't it? Raheem? Raheem? Communication is crystal clear now. Good job, man. This helps everybody, but especially Dr. Zera and Dr. Camden. They can hear each other without static for the first time since... Well, ever. See you back at the tower. For the last up and deal one, bad news. <laughs> I have to go back to prison to get the gold weapon I want. Oh, rip. Really hope DL2 is April update is actually good, like improved combat animations, more weight to things, better rag dolls. What are you happy to become from DL2's exit? Uh, all of the above. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping for a big positive changes all around. Because if not, DL2 is hanging by a fucking thread. That's pretty much what I think. Won't find better stuff anywhere else. Oh wait, do you have a pistol I can use? You do. Let me go to my valuables. 
Sell all my ciggies. Still not enough. Stuff anywhere else. Sell that. Buy the gem pistol. So I have a gone now. You have the movement advantage against all zombies. You should never be struggling in this game. Okay, well, she's she's struggling. <laughs> Barbecue. Achievement unlocked. And that didn't jump scare me that time. I assume it's killing zombies while they're on fire. I see achievement. And now we reap our rewards. Impaling a burning zombie on spikes, right. Alright, let's just fucking go. There's got so many. I mean, you just killed yourself. I didn't even do anything to you, mate. If Ryzen just watching some guy push 50 zombies Job's into done. the spikes. Yep. It's time to get back to Rice and get that antis in. Is there anything in, uh, new in this game? Are you because you're playing on a different launcher? No, nothing new. Look, you but. Dude, if there were like platform exclusive stuff, that would be so annoying for everyone. Alright, Nimble Hands is very nice. Gonna get that. I don't need shield right now. Free running expert. Very nice. Gonna get that. But bear in mind, not everyone you talk to today will be in a cooperative state of mind. Cooperative. I'm sure you can be convincing though, no? I am very convincing. Yeah, I'm not gonna sell all my valuables until I get that last skill, which is why I'm, I've been saving up stuff. Ah, uh, look, it's got the power skill bug. Look, 229 instead of um, this one being 159. So in that case, I'm actually going to sell that and just sell all the throwing stars. I do not need those. Throwing stars are poopy water. They are very poopy water. I'm not going to sell the coffee. So, enough of you. 6k. So, I need one. Jesus Christ. It's jump scares. Right. German 9mm pistol. 229 damage. Alright. We're doing pretty good on supplies here, chat. Achievement jump scare. 
I can't say I'm surprised that Rise went back on his word. Yeah, I, I, I like the opportunity weapons and stuff like that in DL2. I just wish you were able to melee throw your weapon as well, you know? I'll be doing this quest during the daytime, actually, because uh, the Fisherman's Village can get really um, fucked and complicated um, with Bolzals coming in, despite the fact that they have, uh, you know, uh, UV lights on and everything. Fear the saves don't transfer over, so I can't even. Even if I wanted to, I can't even use my own save. Crane here. Report. Another job for Rice. Problem with weapon throw. This fact, there's no real downside dirty. for throwing it. There is. You can use. Uh, Fear, you can, you can lose it. I've lost two just weapons already asked. in this playthrough just by throwing. Remember what's at stake. Yeah, you, Crane out. You lose your weapon. You lose your weapon, and uh, <laughs> sometimes. You won't be able to pick it back up. And even if you were able to pick it up back up, there's a buffer period where you have no weapon equipped. And you'll be like, well, you could just have more than one weapon. Yeah, but we still get rid of a weapon. I came in with the hazmats, team four. It, was two days it just disappeared underneath. The, it just it just fell through the map and disappeared. Yeah, that's what happened. So we knock on doors. Sometimes you hear a voice that sounded like a person. So you'd go in. Only it turned out it was a viral. All angry and crazy, just the voice left to fool you. Sometimes you weren't alone. The suits are pretty tough. The PVC reinforced double layered polyfiber. That's a bug though, yeah, but if it's a bug that happens all the time, um, you gotta compensate for that. Just like the throwing stars bug in PTZ fear. Come on. Gets me down to see them like that. You know the funny thing? They're all biters now, but they can't bite. Regardless of the bug, okay, so ignore it where you can, though, Fear. Because if the bug happens often enough, a bug that you cannot fix, it's basically part of the game that you gotta consider and take into consideration. Um, it's like it's like it's like people playing DL2, and all of a sudden they get uh, Legend 250 because of the bug that happens. It was like because it's a bug, it doesn't count. Yeah, but they still to Legend 250 like. The result is still there, regardless of the method. You can bias the argument off of a bug. A bug is part of the gameplay. Kareem, it's me. So I just threatened to break an old man's legs. Just like how the kick cancel, you patch that. Yeah. This may, this may, this may be an unintentional. This may be an intentionally done bug by the player, but still a bug. I'm running errands for Rise. He wields a lot of power. And, and the reason why I brought up the Legend 250 bug for DL2 is, um, Listen, mate, getting short. We're um, well, the reason why I brought that up is because Techland took I'm action and in order to fix the fact that bug from happening to people, that they made a change where you could only get maxed out. Um, they, they basically capped the amount of XP get at night. To right, pre prevent right. that bug from happening to people. You can make it back to the tower soon. Yeah, fear. I, honestly, I I really feel like I, I'm never ever gonna melee throw if you if it doesn't do extra damage. There's there's zero point to it when it comes to night runner. It does times two damage in Dead Island, and and that should be like the baseline for it. You're getting rid of the weapon in your hand. So let's say I'm on my last weapon and I melee throw it. Now I can't, now I, and I'm surrounded by zombies and I can't fight with it. And I, and I, and I, go, I have to risk going over to this guy and pick it up, spend that time doing that. And in, the, in, that, in that time I could die. You lose no durability at all, then make it lose durability. If you can. Cream, I just saw something I've never seen before. This huge bloated infected just fucking exploded. Yeah, we call them bombers. Some of our guys use them to kill other infected. Shoot them, and they take out everything in a three meter radius. You kidding?
kidding me? Keep your distance and you'll be fine. But what about the courier? Was he there? No, I didn't I didn't see anybody, just fucking zombies. Alright. You'll have to go to the village directly, I suppose. Look for a man named Gerson. And also, there's always a chance you can miss your weapon throw too. And if you're using a blunt weapon throw, I could weapon throw. I could weapon throw, hits this zombie, and it falls off the edge, and I have to go all the way to find it. You could still lose it, even if it's not a bug. There are downsides to weapon throw, and I don't know how you don't see that fear. There's so many downsides to it. There's no downside. You have two good weapons. I like to, if you have two good weapons, I like to spam one for throwing, and the other for when weapon is thrown. It's like there's no downsides in that scenario. That yeah, in that scenario. There's not just that same scenario when, when playing a, a sandbox game like this over and over again. There's so many different scenarios you could find yourself in. But if I- if- if, if melee throw... If melee th oh, I'm gonna go here. If melee throw is, uh, only does one times damage, there's literally zero reason for me to use it. The only reason for you to use melee throw is when it's broken. That's the only time. In, in Nightrunner. Because you want to get rid of it. Or dismantle it, but then again, you might want to dismantle the weapon so you don't want to melee throw. I'm lucky it landed on this side of the tunnel. Where is he? I hear him. You want to buff a mechanic that's internally un unfixable with adding durability to it. So instead of making it strong, you want it useless. Why not just remove the skill entirely? Just remove the skill entirely if you're gonna treat it like that. You can you can even make it if it's like 1.5 times or one or two times. Like, D Dead Island make it so it's two times. That's two attacks. In terms of DPS, your the DPS, by swinging, doing this, is much faster than picking, throwing your weapon and picking it up and throwing it up, picking it up, picking up your weapon again. It's viable, not useless though. Uh, I can't see a scenario where it's useless aside from when your weapon's okay, broken. So I can't see a scenario where it's useful. Why would I melee throw if I just if I just can throw if I can just melee? I gotta get that gate closed before more of those fuckers get inside. Oh my god, he went into his animation and cancelled it. It does damage while being broken. Is there a way to modify the damage of a thrown broken weapon? Because what makes power attacks balance is they use more um, durability for each hit. The pit boss fight? What about the pit boss fight? Anybody in there? Shh, look like rice. Oh, that isn't. I'll leave you to it. Sounds like you have bigger problems than money. Okay, Kareem. Anything? Gas mask on quest. Someone's got to do something about that guy. <laughs> I'm. Well, here goes nothing.
fear. I'll yeah, go back to what I said before. I think you're undervaluing battery life, the... I think you're underestimating the... Ooh, stomp. Uh, the... The fact that throwing your weapon is dangerous. Not only because of the fact that you can use, lose your weapon, not just for a bug, but because of other reasons too. Um, as mentioned, if you could throw it and miss, or throw it and go over an edge far away, or um, you get overwhelmed and you can't find it because it just goes too far. Um, there's always factors in that. There's always risks when throwing a weapon. And as I said, you throw it and you don't have a weapon anymore. Uh-oh, what am I going to do? Well, why would I throw it if I only have one weapon? It's there's so many, there's so many options to, um, that basically it's, it's just unoptimal to melee throw. Quick, the man says. So quick. And, and you keep on bringing up the fact that it does extra damage and you can just spam it and it's like, well, yeah, but every time you spam it, it's, you, there's a risk and every, every single instance you throw it, there's a risk of, of something going wrong every time you throw it. So you can spam a ball, but that means you're exposing yourself more. Especially since a lot of enemies can't even be stumbled, so you can't even stun lock an enemy with your second weapon as you melee throw the first, so you can make sure you get your first one back. And you can't just tank the damage to pick it up on Night Runner through a crowd, you can't do that. Yeah, fear. That's a very specific scenario. If you're one on one with a biter, I think if you're one on one with a biter, that's absolutely fine. Oh, thanks. Maybe now I can get a bite to eat. When you have, when you can melee slice, uh, because you want to do more damage up on a single on a single target, perhaps a toad in the crowd. A police zombie in the crowd, a GRE zombie in the crowd. I mean, you have added more more zombies, more special and infected variants in um, in Night Runner compared to Vanilla. So it's even more incentive to try and single out an enemy in uh, Night Runner. Take these. Practice makes perfect, I guess. Uh. If that's the case, all you have to do is have the weapon on one durability instead of zero. But that's, again, that's a very specific thing. A weapon has 50... You have to hit a weapon 49 times first. I saw him, and I dodged... And I, I dodged. I saw him uh, when I was already swinging there. There was a rip there. Seriously, Crane, how do you expect me to improve There's not really a real risk when you're killing zombies one by one with a weapon throw, though, unless Doesn't you're in a group store. Why, why do it in a group when you can realize like, perfect, I, I, I don't understand the, what you meant. What, what full message do I not read? Why would you ever throw a melee well, weapon? It worked. I mean, it worked enough. I get to single out a single enemy, as I just said. That's why I said it. I think I burned off my eyebrows. Yes, yes. Fine. Good. I can't talk right now. This place isn't safe anymore. I'm if you're targeting a specific zombie, I gotta go. Got to go. It's uh, such as the numerous special biters that you've uh, added it into Night Runner, and you can do that. In a group of zombies. Yeah, so let's say there's five biters, and one of them is a GRE biter. I want a melee throw to that GRE biter, so I do max damage to that one, uh, instead of wasting all my hits on the other guys. I don't understand why you, why you keep on emphasizing in a group. If you ever see a toady weapon throw it, yeah, so you don't have to approach it too. No time to waste. Your share of the profit. Ugh. <sighs> 
that's basically fears um what fear what that fears justification hello it's because of the durability thing if it wasn't for that then i guess you will buff it oh yeah i don't have a slide Because using your melee weapon to throw a group is more dangerous than single target picking. That's what you think. I don't. I don't believe that. I. I, I believe the opposite. If if melee. So if if I'm playing vanilla, and I want to take out. A, a, if I want to single out an enemy. And I know that melee throw does more damage in a single hit. I'm gonna melee throw that single zombie in the hopes that I can kill it. Rather than waste my time, HP, stamina, and otherwise trying to kill everything else around it and it. Unless I have an explosive. Great job, man. Not as fast as I expected. You said to use a valuable weapon to throw, use a silly rebar. Yeah, yeah but you gotta pick up a rebar in the first place. And listen, stay in touch, okay? No problem. Oh, here he has for you. I think melee throws in a fine spot in vanilla, and that's vanilla DL. Because if you have the choice of making a mechanic bad or good simply because you can't make it perfect because of the limitations of the modding of the game, go for good instead of bad. I use weapon throw knowing I will be able to retrieve it since I'm aware it one shots the zombie 99% of the time. Um, well, yeah, you could do that. I'm shocked into. If I, if I know, if, if let, let, let's say I somehow have knowledge that I know my melee throw will hit that one zombie. And it will kill it. That means I can pick it up before they all aggro and surround me too quickly as I walk up to it. Imagine, imagine like fighting a goon surrounded by 10 zombies. If you melee him over and over again, those 10 zombies are closing on you. The more time you spend fighting something, the more they surround you. Melee throw instantly ends it. And that's when I want to use it. To end the fight instantly before they surround me so I can pick it up, loot the guy that I just killed, or for whatever reason I killed the guy, and then go back. And as I said before, I'll, when, when you're making balance for a weapon, you have to consider the fact that at any single moment, your weapon Back can disappear when you throw it, we just and it's completely out of your control. Either via a bug that happens more com pretty, pretty damn common, or um, through other circumstances where you get overwhelmed, you cannot go, you throw it too far, um, or otherwise. He wants more updates first for DL2. Yeah, yeah, because every time... Uh, the problem with um, Fear not making Night Runner mod for... Well, it's not a problem that he's not making it, is it? The reason why he's not making it is because when he did it for... When he did... When he was doing Death Call for Dying Light 1, when Hell Raid was added to the game, it basically, like, fucked over the mod so much so that he has basically had to start from the ground zero from the ground up. So if, if they do that same approach as... DL2, then there's no point with modding DL2 until after all the major content's kind of stopped with that. There is barely any underwater algae here, bruh. Like extinction loot. <laughs> well, fear. I'm not really, I'm not really using melee throw that often, and it's already happened twice to two throwables that, I, to, that I've been using. 
already happened twice in before you came here around half an hour ago so four hours four and a half hours it happened twice and you got to consider the time that i spent not using it and didn't even have it unlocked in the first place Um, German line mill? No, we're good. Why are you making a mobile West Asian isn't annoying, bruh? Like, because it says it's just not possible. Uh, let's do gas mask, man. Excuse me. Oh, I don't think the mic picked it up. I did like the loudest Trying silent, but if that's copy. What's wrong? a thing that's Someone's possible. On the 18th floor. We're doing our best to contain the situation, but we can't sugarcoat this train. We need Anderson right fucking now. Rise has promised me two crates, Brecken. Two crates. I'm doing this shit as fast as I can, I swear. Oh, wait, does a. Uh... Oh shit, I didn't- oh, no, I, I did go into the- Oh, never mind. Does, um... Does melee throw use, um... Stamina? And if it doesn't, can you make it use stamina? Because you did what- You did that with kicks. We're not negotiating. Hello, Shakur. Hold on. Let's, um... No, hold on. Oops. Let's, let me just use up all my stamina. And see if I can melee throw out of stamina. Oh, it does use up stamina though. Let's see the bar drain. Oh yeah, it does use up stamina, yeah. Not that much, it's basically the same as a, like a swing, but... It still uses up. I got so much handling um, mods on this. It's about one and a half... It's like one, one and a half of um, a melee hit. You can make it use as much ex uh, stamina as a power attack for you. While still having the damage boost. Like you cut, Yeah, so I didn't even I didn't so I didn't even process the donor until now. Two Day 16 hey miss West wait, day sixteen? Oh my god, because it just crossed into the next day. I just realized that. God damn it, George. Oh, then I think if you buff the damage, then melee, melee throws in a good spot then for you. Because it's all... Okay, well then, yeah. Holy shit, if it uses up that much stamina, then... I'm definitely not, definitely not using it with one times damage. Why would I spend, like, five times... Five times... Um... Stamina for, like, the same damage output. Where, let's say... It does, five, let's say, four times damage for five times or six times stamina in one single burst. What the fuck do you want from me? Oh, excuse me. Please take this for saving our skins. I love vanilla encounters. Nobles should all take like as much as stamina as a power attack, but do two times damage. Maybe throwing James durability quicker too. Are you talking about melee throw? Or are you talking about actual throwables like throwing stars? 
Because right now, the reason why throwing stars are used in Night Runner is because um, they don't use up stamina. That, that's basically the, the main attraction for them, while well, still be, dealing decent damage. Melee throw specifically, right? Any mid-game tips? Farm as much as possible. Go for every drop. Okay, I thought I heard a drop. I was speaking of drops. Uh, Thanks. Go for as many drops as possible. Loot everything you can. This is the time for you to just basically explore. Now that you've got the access to open world, to do whatever the fuck you want. You see so you now? Yeah. All right, all right. I'll talk to Musa and the guard. Oh, I need to talk to Musa. All right. Did no, you put that a have to. No problems, Mister. I just got mad. I never hurt anybody. Thanks All right, pack the rice now. Um, in regards to like more tips for mid game. Focus on saving up resources for the late game. Um, you can spend all your non-kings and clickers on your weapons that you currently have. Because the only thing you need to worry about for your late game weapons is kings and clickers. You can use anything below them uh, 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 from wanting your weapons to, to buff them, which is what I've done with the alternator and stuff here. What do you think of Arkham City's combat? Much better than uh, Asylum. Still some weird inconsistencies, but much better. Hello, sir. You are getting zapped. Are coffee and cigarettes used for anything, or are they only used for selling? Uh, all valuables are used for selling only, except for coffee, which is used in a side quest. We need to gather 20 coffee. How was Batman? Arkham City was Gucci. I think I gave it an 8 out of 10 for me. Asylum was like a 7. Or did I give Asylum an 8 and Arkham City is a 9? I think it was Arkham City is a 9 and Asylum's an 8. Crane, how close are you? I don't know, about halfway back, I guess. Good. I need you to make a quick detour. Not. Why? One of our patrols went off the grid somewhere near the market. How is that my problem? I'm making it your problem. I'm looking forward to Arkham Knight. I've got enough trouble right House now, but I'll think smoke. about it. Right out of it. Hello? I'm Buck. You're Max. Buck shot. I like really the idea. Let's see what I can, can do. Is that something you'd be up? I think Asylum has the best atmosphere and tone. Also has a better story than City. At least for me so far. Bro. I mean, the energy drink kind of serves that purpose already, Ikuza. We need people to survive. Oh wait, do you mean like combat stamina, like a mini stamina booster? I like the idea. Let's see what I can do. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a DLC for Arkham City on Monday before night. Oh no, I'm gonna be doing Origins actually before night. Okay. Woo! 
understanding, Crane. I've got all I need. Oh, wait, is Rocket here? Now you got me thinking. No, he's not. Maybe we should do this again sometime. Try some different scenarios. Thanks again, Crane. I'll see you around. Strong weapons mid game. I mean, the bow is your strongest weapon mid game and late game. <laughs> um, but um, you could get if you can afford it. Oh, I can unlock shotgun stuff too. But uh, yeah. You need something. Thanks for the surprise. So you beat Rice to the airdrop, huh? Now that's impressive. You got something for us? Thanks a lot. Every little thing matters. What's the point of the airdrops? Oh, man. This means we can survive for the next couple of days at least. Thank you so Hard much. Hard bargain. There we go. Something for us? Thanks a lot. Every little thing matters. Now I can sell all my shit, apart from plenty coffee. Oh, the shotgun ammo, actually. Let me buy that. And rifle ammo. I don't need that. You get ponzi plenty of that. You should just duplicate. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to glitch and exploit the game. I'm just going to... I'm playing how Techline intended. Long story short. Find a house with the red smoke pouring out of it. I'll do that. After after talking with Rice, back with Rice. Yeah, this weapon isn't that fantastic because the self damage is kind of crazy. Eighty six bucks for that. I've reached a point. I think I'm at a high enough survival level where I'm no longer one-shotting these enemies now. Because they're uh, going to get stronger variants. Ever played Red Dead 2? No. Mr. West Asian bought me it though. Am I not interested in RDR2? From what I've seen, it doesn't really that look interesting to me, apart from the story, I guess. Um, and I've played Rockstar games in the past and got bored of them, like I got on board with GTA 5. Oh my god, this guy's a gun, I forgot. Shut up, Ollie. Kareem, I think I found your lost patrol. Something ripped them limb. Don't damage them. They're worth more than all those dead assholes. Did you find the envelope? Not yet. Police Wait rifle, easy. Let's go. Put EXP caliber away, I don't really need it. The yeet value for it is um I need a really good early game. Ask Olo's opinion about weapon throw. Olo. Okay. In its current it. state in Night Runner right now. What do you think of, of weapon throw? It does one times damage. As in basically it's the same as a melee hit.
Is there a third firecracker? No. Oh, not specifically Night Runner. Oh, I mean, in I mean, in vanilla, it's absolutely fine. You should really think. It's about in uh, vanilla right now, yeah. I think I think the mechanic is fine in vanilla right now. So. I don't know why I'm going this way, I'm just doing it for the sake of zipline. <laughs> Fair enough, although I think I think you just don't give a fuck about weapon throw at all. Safe to say that Rice isn't the most popular person in town, huh? No, but he is the most feared. And you know the old saying, it is better to be feared than loved if one cannot be both. Ah, uh, Machiavelli. Correct. Smart fellow, that one. Yeah, he can't fall one infected in DL2. I really hope he can. Once the physics <sighs> update's done. Because if not, oh. Wait, really? Is it just not marked? Well, it's way less stronger though, right? Because in, in Dead Island, like, the water aim is hella strong. Oh, time time machete. Oh yeah, chat. You don't get that in DL2, do you? I don't think you do. Fucking shame, dude. So much stuff that are just a mess in DL2, man. You already played this game like already a few months ago. Yes, I'm playing on a different platform right now because I feel like it. Very excellent. You're a lot more dependable than most of these drunks. Right, you sure they come and see me when you get back. I've got something for you. Ah, shit. Okay, let me call with the GRE, talk with the House of the Red Smoke, and then I'll go activate some quests and then call all day. Greetings from Spain. I was about to say, I was about to do some, some cringe. Well, I was about to say, like, Hola Kevin. So he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and. I don't know how to say stream in Spanish. What do you mean was that it? I'm not a fucking human Bienvenidos al um, video. That was bad, I'm sorry. What the fuck kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this project Direct can save the world, why Isn't give it a fucking Isn't Directo straight secret? though? We're not paying like as when when uh, because when I was living in Spain, the way I would direct my taxi fuck driver, I go, Derecho, izquierda, 
and then it, um, directo. So directo means stream, I guess, to multiple meanings. All right, let's go to the house. The red smoke pouring out of it. <laughs> At which main quest does the uh, bridge here get firebombed, or like you know, bombed and bombed? Any guess what happened? None. And our gas man Jeff in live director. Oh, ah, okay. Week. He was kind of irreplaceable. Maybe I can track him down. Make maybe definitely get on it fast. Word you keep give this envelope to Aziz at the bazaar. Red phosphorus, lye, iodine, muriatic acid, diethyl ether, phenyl nitrate. Phenyl nitrate. He's not exactly grandma's recipe for Christmas cookies. Lena, this is Crane. Are you there? <laughs> Jade got interrupted. Lena's tied up. Can I help you? Someone just gave me a grocery list with red phosphorus, lye, iodine, muriatic acid, diethyl ether, and phenyl nitrate. Ah, then someone just gave you a recipe for cooking slam. Rises crews have been using it to stay up for days at a time. Volatiles are more reasonable than someone I can't buy yourself, or you will be shot. Maybe I should put this guy out of business. Actually, we're pretty desperate for phenyl nitrate. It's a lab grade. Jeff, is there a pre recording of you saying go away? Look, come on. Are you Jeff? Hey, if you don't get killed. <laughs> Alright, chat. Should we end it on gassed up? Yeah, let's end it on gassed up. Alright, let's, let, let, let's do it and then we'll finish on the gassed up. We'll finish it on gassed up. How about that? That's a. Uh, then we'll call a day there because it's already half past midnight for me. <laughs> I just like to look and play more like a Tony Fifteen game than Dialect One, which is like way ahead of its time. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think it's just the people um, there's behind it. Um, you know what? The biggest thing, um, the Dialect Two, it's a Dialect Two's detriment, I think, is the technology. They tried to make a seamless open world, right? And because of that, so much like so much technical stuff took a big hit. Not only performance-wise, but um, I think the physics and stuff—it just. Dying Light One has tons of interiors, but they're all like preloaded interiors, right? Like quarantine zones and stuff. And they work perfectly fine as they are. Let me, uh, do this. While, while there's still daytime. Let's go, asshole. Brecken, this is Crane. Do you copy? Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antithesis did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to use... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days' worth. Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP, and don't lose any of that access. It's getting dark, people. Time <laughs> okay. Wow, that timing. She switched to the, uh, the night, the night uh, message for the plays. What are you doing? You know, Ryan, you must be pretty me. tough. You better get ready if you don't die time, doing this thing, I just might have an opportunity for you. Alright, now we got Kurt and Zayi. I'm just I'm just activating all these quests chat before we call a day, but I'm still gonna do gas stuff. <laughs> So all I need is a gun and action.
playing night right now. Why is he? I was gonna say. So make sure you're around, okay? Hey, you want to uh, fix that guy? What do you- oh, I'm sorry, maybe- Look, you can- Half it is! It seems fair! I'm so close <laughs> to, uh, night. Let's try and do this just before it hits night. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Show me then. But you're gonna have to be- No, faster. not a shovel. You're in there some you go. serious denial if you think you can beat me. There you go. Oh wait, I won't be able to retry this if I fail, right? You're going the wrong way, I'm over here. Alright, there you go. I hate the deal doing semi smart biters. I want them to fall off. I'm just trying to get you. Yeah, biters are biters like you know zombies. Those kind of like regular vanilla zombies are all should always be the dumb dums, especially in a game full of special infected. So you know that the dumb ones are even dumber in comparison to the smart ones. You know, AI, world interaction, and physics are so fucking dog shit in DL2 in comparison. You did it, by the skin of your teeth, if you ask me. You better get ready for next time, Crane. Crane. Keep molding, Bozo. Oh, you know, I can only sleep down here, I think, right? Let's sleep. Yeah, fear, yeah, but the smart volatiles. Beautiful. And action. What? How did I get that one on the right? Iran Shooting Club. Achievement unlocked. Totally became that guy. Oh, are they going for the guy? Oh no, I thought they were. I'll be setting up my next shot soon, so uh, make sure you're available. Here's your money. I was doing a biter crawl animation. I know we're a nightmare, but can no more viral spawn, please? 
I'm using the alternator, which is from the... Uh, it was a spike event before DL2 released. I remember that. Spike event for DL1. Uh, but they're also giving it away, the blueprint for it, on the link in the pinned comment. Attack on GG. Alright, that's about it. Oh yeah, I remember that, Quail, Jesus. That was awful. What is important? And... Action! Dude, I remember- oh my god, I might be dead. Holy. I remember struggling so much with this when I was on console because I couldn't aim. Wait, you survived the headshot? What the fuck? With like, a challenge weapon. I forgot how much damage the a fucking grab does. In like Night Runner, it's like 50. Yeah, I don't know, it's like 40. And I should just heal. Cut, 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 cut. Look, that was terrible. The only thing you were killing out there was my movie. The only thing that was killing was me, because I died. But only because this isn't constant. Why does it- I just realized this makes like a fucking a goofy axe sound. Such a weird sound, dude. Oh, where'd the goon go? <laughs> That was not my first death, this no. Business is full of my first death, well, I died to a kill plane. Oh, wait, Olo, oh, were you here? Wait, wait Olo, oh, oh, before you go. Um, I died, my first death was due to a death plane in fucking, um, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, um, what, is, what the fuck is this one called? Holy Year Tunnel. I climbed, you know, you know the box cars he hits and they crushes them? Boom boom. Well like, way later on, after I crushed everything, I was just running around. I climbed one, and I guess I clipped into the, the, the box a little bit, and I died to a death plane. He just insta-killed me. True, without even half trying. Okay, hotshot, put up or shut up. Worth downloading? Yeah, it's a free game, dude, and it's one of the best- well, Ah, uh, The more I play it, the more I appreciate this damn game, so yeah, I would say it's- it's one of the best zombie games out- well, one of the best zombie games out there, for sure. 
one of my favorite games of all time. And if it's free, let's fucking get it. This is Dying Light 3, Beppo. Unturned is better. It, Unturned looks so much different now compared to when I last played it. I last played Unturned back when I was like in middle school, high school, and it was so fucking bad. With, when it comes to Unturned, like, I'll just like to give perspective like how long ago I played it. Uh, it, it, it didn't save your progress whenever you played. Well, it did, but it didn't save your inventory. So every time you quit and load back in, you have to get all your stuff back. By looting again. That's how bad it was. I have, bought, I have not bought Definitive, no. Quality goods at fair prices, that's me. I don't think I need to, though. Enhance is really all you need. Alright, come on. So... I'm gonna quest to literally right here for the quarry, I'll do that too. Which other zombie games better than DL1? I don't know. Like, for my own personal and- Oh no, it's my, the better zombie game than DL1 for me is Project Zomboid. the sound of the the bubbling you can hear the bubbling and rumbling inside him as he as he walks the little bomber pretty cool what about daisy i hate those kind of games it's not really a zombie game it's just mainly just pvp of course all i would say dead rising is better I'm trying to think. I think that's the only game that I prefer over DL1, Project Zomboid. Or maybe that and RE4 VR. If that counts. And Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Of course the job happens right as I'm doing this quest. Walking Dead Saints and Sinners is probably my second favorite. Yeah, so Project Zomboid, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, RE4 VR, and then DL1. For me. It's still zombies though, Fear. Alright, I opened the local valves plus the primary gate. Uh -huh. what about the ballast lines? Wait, the, the what? Flame and fratulence. Oh my god, I just realized the joke. Grandma at Christmas with gas. Jesus Christ. Let them fight. Oh, except you. If a game that has zombies in it doesn't make it a zombie game. Yeah. 
Uh, depends if they're the focus or not. That's why I said Daisy isn't, because it's a PvP game that happens to have like one or two zombies in every like when you when you play. Oh wait, do I do I get XP for killing these guys actually? What did I just do? Did I Oh my god. Dude. Okay. I thought I was rescuing survivors for a second, which is why I ignored them. How did I do that? I literally was just... I literally just held the left click and let go, and I fired multiple times. I didn't do anything else different there. Oh my god. Come on, you can go in here without that, right? There you go. Oh, this isn't the right tunnel, though. Yeah. DL2 isn't a zombie game then? No, because... I mean, it is, but like... Um... It, it, it is a zombie game because zombies have a heavy presence, even if it's, they're not the focus. It's all about presence. Like, would you call DL1 an RPG? Oh, well, Robin Hood Theory. Uh, achievement unlocked. Would you call, um... DL1 an RPG game, despite having um, RPG elements, but it's not really the focus of the. There is no speedrunning category for 100% in the game, though. Goofy ass sound. You're right, though, Bapo. Come on, I got your fennel nitrate. Why did Epic Games want to make it free to play? I don't know if it's Epic wanting to do it or the. No, it has to be both parties. I don't know. I don't know who proposes the idea though. If it's Epic or if it's the game, um, IP owners. You know, whenever they propose the free Epic um deal thing. Did Island deal one? Or always deal one. I don't know why Dead Island doesn't really hold a candle to it. Is Deal one in different epic games and seem not really? It's kind of the same game. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna. Hopefully yeah, Spotify. <laughs> Strong achievement unlocked. I honestly didn't know that DL was going to be that fun to play, I just thought the game because it was on discount being sale. Well, I'm glad you found out, at least, at the end of the day. Aye, aye, Commander. This ain't the Navy, son. Drink 
some coffee and sober up. Yeah, get your shit to get the crane. Oh, what a bozo. <coughs> Excuse me. You're George of the Ten. Number one, DL one. Number two, Dead Rising three. Interesting you put three. Um, honestly, I kind of agree with Dead Rising three being the best, but hey. Um, Number three, State of Decay 2. Number four, Project Zombie. Number five, The Rising 2. That's my personal opinion. Also, no, deal to be up there if it was made in 2015. Lol, 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 lol. Deal to wouldn't even be there even if it was made in 2015. The only excuse games have when they're old is techno. It's is, um is technical limitations whether it be with graphical fidelity um load like lo too many loading screens um resident evil with the fixed camera angles because of the technology at the time etc etc but everything else in terms of game design nah they don't get that pass Yeah, dude, this game still looks fantastic. Like, I'm on the I'm on a 1044p monitor looking at this. It's better than the, what you guys are seeing on stream, and this looks really good. The other should have been a prequel, but how? Because the Haran virus is the start. Well, maybe it could be the fall, how the fall happened, maybe. Oh, in terms of, um... Because DL1 starts, like, two months after uh, the outbreak. So maybe it could be the beginning of the outbreak. I don't know. Ah, oh, yes. Flammable liquid, my favorite. Alright, let's return to Jeff and then chat. I'm gonna call a day. How do I lockpick like a, like a pro? Because I'm just that good at the game. Uh, instant escape. And drop attack. I can DFA now. I can DFA the Night Hunter. Is Audio 2 a prequel or a sequel? Because I've seen a lot of people talk about things that seem to happen because this is John Marsden, the protagonist of RDR 1. <laughs> Sorry, Rip Rip Ripperoni, um, I found Jeff. Amanda Jeff. The gas is back on. That's a relief. Tell Jack, he's irreplaceable. It's a prequel, okay. Yeah, well, I'm afraid you're gonna have to find a replacement. Rip Bozo Jeff. And on that note, chat, I'm gonna call it a day. Let me go and sell some shit at the nearest safe area, and then, yeah. Why do they make it free? To get more people playing it. It's an eight year old game now, to be honest. Uh, my Alright, sell all valuables except for the coffee, where I'll buy 20 back. I'm gonna sell all these weapons. 
all the shops in Haran, mine is by far the least shitty. Alright, um... Alright, yeah. Oh wait, let's rescue this guy, because why not? Okay, well, <laughs> that didn't turn out. <laughs> that didn't turn out the way uh, they planned it, but oh well. Rip bozo him, I guess. Anyways, that's about it for today. Why not hell raid? Because Red hell raid sucks balls. I hate it. I hate it. Easily the worst part of DL one. Oh my god! Wait, who got timed out, dude? I just got so like five people got timed out by Russian roulette there. Oh yeah, go to Crane's room and look at the pictures. True, I'll do that right now. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that right now, actually. I'm not going to call it a just yet, because I did say, uh, look at the tower in the beginning, and then look at the ta tower, uh, look at Crane's room and the tower now. Well, while we're here, let's just do a uh, loot house. Why not? Hellraid more like snore raid, true. Did you know that in DL1 and Xbox you can feel the vibrations on either left or right whichever the direction of the sweet spot is? You know what? I probably... I mean, I played on DL1 and Xbox, so I don't remember that being a thing, but I can believe it. I just don't remember it because it was so long ago for me. No, Bapo, fuck you. Solstice, I would. But I cannot leak any Dying Light 3 gameplay because it's actually already out for content creators early, real trust. Have I duped during a speedrun? Yes, tons of times. See ya, Quill. Alright, time to actually go up here. Oh, I know, there's also the drop. Free drop. For real, for real. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely playing DL3 early on a uh, content creator early access. Trust me. I am not being sarcastic at all. 100% real. Real. Oh, disaster recovery achievement unlocked. Jesus Christ. That one got me a little bit there. The Kyle Crane bombings. What? What isn't that reference to? Rises, man. They just as soon shoot. Rises people are everywhere. I saw some of them in a tunnel near the lake. I can't open my inventory. There we go. Can't open your inventory during this time. Interesting. Right. Uh, how many jobs do I have? I need soil cinnamon. Oh my god! What am I doing, dude? Does the on Epic Games run slow? I haven't noticed anything uh, performance-wise on my end. I was supervising all the scouts. Why don't you ask him? He's on the what list. That's exact know. most. Uh, I'll think about it. Anything? Okay. okay. So you need. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know what? Maybe Brecken's right about this one. And all of this in. The basics is exactly when you are. God damn it! I'm addicted to playing this fucking game. I said I'd stop but multiple times. Okay. 
Very engaging challenge. Very challenging chat. I'm a runner and a fighter. Achievement unlocked. Alright. I am going to pick all this up. We're going to show Crane's room. There's been issues with keybinds. I've heard that they reset every time you restart your game, which is annoying. But I, I, we'll see when I continue to play tomorrow, I guess. Do you have the ant? No, I don't. Go away. Hey, Crane. It's good to see you. What happened here? It's so very sad. Buying all that. Look who it is. Um. All right, that's it. There's nothing more you can look. Look, it's Ayo. Yeah, well, Ayo can throw a lot more bodies at them than we can. No negative. Got your losses and get out of there. Copy. Out. No, no. He was <laughs> fucking hitting the ready as he's speaking. Watch yourself okay. out there, all right? And there's no more fennel nitrate, so I guess he's out of business either way. And I like your thinking, Iman. Chat, this is a perfect way to end it. The brick and TV punching. <laughs> Delete unarmed legend skill. I forgot. I forgot too. Yeah. This is where we get the announcements about the antisine drops, and they've just stopped. <laughs> Finally, I get to do some actual good. Uh, okay, so what we're doing, we are going over here. And look, it's been updated. I don't know what these person notes are, maybe the side quests and stuff like that. But look, we got, even got the Charlie thing here. We got this. Map of her, uh, map of her, her slums is here. But look, we got a volatile, we got a toad, we got a bomber here now too. And this room is slowly going to get more and more filled up as you go. But before we do anything else, we're going to go up, talk to Raheem, do a little boppity boop for the Easter egg for the sick bomb, <laughs> and then call our day. Oh, we're gonna do the- okay, let's do this boring claw call for- This is Crane, do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. Map of Benoit. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Ryza's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldermere would even be willing to cooperate. Skills His hatred towards inanimate objects is crazy. True. You start giving us some Got to meet Gazi. We've already done Gazi, we'll actually. Talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Presuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. You assholes take the fucking cake. You know that. You and your fucking file. Look, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. Okay, he's got one more. And chat! On that note... Finally, finally, finally... I'm gonna call it a day. Oh, shut the fuck up, Jade. You know what? Loud and clear. What can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school well, into a Well, chat. On that note, I'm going to call a day here. Thank you all you for coming you here. Tomorrow, I'll be playing more of this yeah, Dying we'll Like One Great. video I'm game. And, um, okay. in any case, listen, Jade. uh, thank you. Oh my god, these guys are about something. Shut the fuck. I'm taking my headphones off. Another option, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. 
Right now, let's see what we can find in that school. Okay, there you go. Oh my god. Alright. Anyways. So, that is about it for today. As I said again. Uh, tomorrow will be some more of this. And hopefully we'll be able to get through a lot of it but in either case thank you all for coming here today i'll see you guys whenever you come back and uh yeah that's about it thank you all for by the way big shout out to um uh george and gordon and everyone else who donated and gave a lot of um support and memberships here today especially all the members here. there's so many green people in chat now anyways that's about it i'll see you guys later and have a good one bye bye